All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep, keep talking, and now I'm gonna meet you again. All right, I'm gonna talk, talk, talk. This is what I'm doing. Ghouls and Ghosts was really good, though. Oh, oh my God. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm talking really as close to the speaker as I can. I, is there anything more? You, you turning up your volume? Do you have Skype? Yep, anything Skype else? is at max, and oh well, it sounds better apparently. So, okay, well, cool. well, we're good with that. Okay, so you beat Ghouls and Ghosts. <laughs> yeah, that game's so good, isn't it? It really is. It's it's. I I would call oh it the I call it the second best one, if only because Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins Sky the, exists. I'm gonna. I'm gonna really definitely play the fucking PSP game. That game sounds fantastic. Well, the um, the the Redux. PSP yeah, the redo. Ult Goku Makai Murakai. That's what Kazillion came out in Japan. Gazuntite. <laughs> now beat Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Honestly, Ghost. I dare I'm not, you. honestly, I'm not really interested in Super Ghouls and Ghosts right now because I tried that game several times and it never grabbed me. I I technically Ghost made you play music. Super Ghouls and Ghosts for LPO. Yes, you did. It was pretty enjoyable. Um, it was a funny. Vi I, it was a fun a, video. <laughs> it was. I really enjoyed the mock-up thing I did with um, the Queen song. Yeah, you did. Don't stop that me now. Really and the montage and the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> God, that's. Just I think so that my own jokes are very funny. Yes. 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 But yeah, you should you should be like me and beat all of them. <laughs> Probably. Um, I'm gonna be. I want to play. Um, the original arcade game and Kai. Mm, yeah, I've got the uh, Capcom Classic Collection, so I have all the arcade games right there. Right. It's neat. It's it's kind of yeah. Neat. The, the Genesis the Genesis Redux sounds really seems really um tactful. It sounds like they just kind of they gave you infinite continues and mm -hmm. made it so you could change direction while ducking among other things. It's so just nice. It feels pretty mm -hmm. definitive. Nice. But uh, we're talking about a different Capcom game. We are going to play Mega Man X. So let's play some Mega Man X, huh? Oh, well, let's play some Mega Man X. This is probably my favorite platformer ever. Mine is be Donkey Kong Country 2, but okay. That's okay. Everyone is correct. Can we actually hear the game, or do I have it turned down too much now? I can't see the game. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. I got. I think I got it turned down a little too much. Well, just turn it on. Let's see. Uh, I'll, un I'll mute you again on Skype so I can listen to it mm -hmm. in a second. But yeah, let me know when I'll see you when the game just up on the stream and we can start playing this. Really also, I'm gonna have to ask you a favor, John, because I can't pop out the chat because Twitch is still being done. So you're gonna have to tell me anything interesting people say. Okay, cool, fantastic, Joe. I said a bunch of things. He told me to play Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I dare you. Mm -hmm. And he said he hasn't played regular ass Ghouls and Ghosts. Like I said, <clears throat> I've tried Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It's fine. Ghouls and Ghosts, though, is fucking amazing. Yeah, it's, Joe, like, Joe is the opposite. It's probably a lot fucking better. Yeah, Joe is the opposite. Um, is this a family stream? Uh, a what? Yeah. No, no, you can say the F word. Okay, cool. <laughs> so should yeah, I... Yeah, the whole world thinks Super Ghouls and Ghosts is, is better, which I'm makes just going to turn up I'm... this a little bit. If it's too loud, someone yeah. says so. Just I'm going to put it on. 44? Yeah, yeah the whole 44 world thinks fun. that... Um... <clears throat> mm -hmm. The whole world thinks that Super Ghouls and Ghosts is the best one, so I'm kind of distrustful of it. Ah, uh, yeah. And, um, I, I used to think Super favorite. Ghouls is the best one, but uh, then I played Ghouls. Yeah. Yeah. I'll but, probably play it eventually. Like, right mm -hmm. now I only have just one person. I have, like, two people talking to me about Ghosts and Goblins, and one of them is like, Ugh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts is trash, whatever. Is, so, that, is that Eric John? I, Yes. <laughs> so I'm, uh... Well, I, yeah. Right I, w I wouldn't say go so far as to call it trash. Apparently. I wouldn't go so far as to call it trash, but uh, <laughs> yeah. there, are, there are issues with it. Like, the double jump mechanic is pretty good, but at the same time it's kind of unnecessary and can screw up a lot of things. Uh -huh. And uh, the second loop thing yeah. is absolute poor... And, and, and the double jump compared with fighting the like the last the second to last boss with the, the super weapon, the goddess press, it is absolute bullshit. It's just, uh -huh. it's just terrible. Ah. It's, just, I think it, yeah. I I would go so far as to say it's poorly designed because you got a double jump to hit him, but like he's got these lasers and flamethrowers that he uses at close range to knock you out of your armor, and when you're knocked out of your oh. armor, the thing does oh. the, the bracelet does like less damage, so you pretty much have to like do the thing and mm. the, the, 
Capcom combined is pretty bad, but Mega Man X is a good yeah. game by Capcom on the Super yeah. NES. And we're going to play it. Joe says, I wouldn't call Super Ghouls and Ghosts a great game. Mm -hmm. And I would say that Ghouls and Ghosts is like a masterpiece. So you can you should go play that. Well, maybe I'm predisposed to liking Ghouls and Ghosts because I paid 45 yeah. goddamn dollars for a complete in box copy. <laughs> like on impulse too. I I literally went to the store. I went. I was in like Gander, the anime den, the lazy place, and all that. And we went to the little retro store, the Game Cave, it's called. And I I, I went and bought a copy of Solar Jetman. I was like, oh, okay, that's done. And then I look over after I pay for it, and I see a pile of Genesis games, and one of them is Ghouls and Ghosts, and I'm like, oh, how much is that? And and the lady prices it, and I'm like. Ooh. I, I have to have that. I have to. And then she said she uh, play tested it That's and she couldn't awesome. and she couldn't beat level one. And I and then I got to say that I'd beaten <laughs> every game in the series. And she's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. And and this was after I. She Are you should... playing the game? What? what? Am I playing what? Yeah, I'm playing Mega Man X right now. Are you playing Mega Man X? Yes. Oh, um, maybe I'm messing up something. Maybe? Is anyone else? No one else is not saying that they're not. It. No one else is saying that they're not seeing it. Oh, everyone else is seeing the game? Oh. Maybe it's just weird for me because. Here, let me open another tab, see what happens. Okay, Twitch is also being kind of silly tonight. Like, the one night after nine months I decided oh. to stream, it's like, nope. Well, I streamed on Sunday, oh. yeah. I, I was going to do this on Sunday, but John's not going to be in town on Sunday, and I wanted him to be part of this because he loves Thank Mega Knight so much. And I'm not doing anything tonight anyway, so I'm like, okay. So maybe I'll do something on Sunday, too. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I can see the game now. Excellent. Excellent. It's a good game. Anna says, fuck this fucking game. Oh, yeah. I, you, yeah. you linked that video this morning. <laughs> Or no, not you. Uh, sig, 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 <laughs> sig. Someone else did. Yeah, someone else did, and you retweeted it. That's that's yes. what I was thinking of. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm did good. you um? Is the quality of my voice okay? Yeah, you sound um, you sound good. I don't know if is I... the quality because now I'm. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 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 Polly says I'm not um tweeting about ghouls and ghosts. Uh, I'm got Castlevania, and she's wondering if I'm doing well. If I'm well, <laughs> and the answer is that I'm not talking about. By Castlevania because I'm well. Yeah. There, you, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I gone on to, pretty sure if I gone on to Dawn of Sorrow, that that would have officially qualified as like a cry for help. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you 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 played an awful lot of goddamn Igavanias. Like how many? Oh God, there's more like, like cool good <laughs> platforming in, in um. 20, in the 20 minute long Ghouls and Ghosts than in like the entire, every Igavania I played combined. Yeah, you, and I played the good ones. Oh my, yeah, you played like the GBA ones, right? And Symphony. The GBA yeah, ones. I played the GBA ones and Symphony, so. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, Ecclesia is pretty cool, I, I remember. But That's the only one I, of the yeah, DS I ones I haven't actually, actually beaten, because I didn't own it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know if I I'd really leap to the defense of any of them besides um, those the good kind of solid three. I really like. Um, oh, fuck you! You're getting me to talk about fucking Castlevania. Um, uh, <laughs> Mega Man X, huh? This boss. Yeah, this is the boss. That we, yep, the boss fight. You can't win. I know. Well, well the way to start. Yeah. Well, with ghouls and ghosts. Well, with ghouls and ghosts. You kind of traded in the. Uh, a Konami horror platforming series for the Capcom platforming horror series. So. Yeah, that that was always kind of like the thing about Ghouls and Ghosts is like this is like Capcom's answer to Castlevania, but then with the Genesis one, it's like oh, this is actually Capcom's answer to this Castlevania <laughs> instead of like yeah, just the kind of whatever thing. Yeah. Like you told me, go you after I played like eight Castlevania games, you said go play all the Ghouls and Ghosts games, and I was like. Psh. <laughs> yeah, play the well, generic you... brand Castlevania, shitty Castlevania. <laughs> and now um, look at you. Because all I played was the little. Bit... Now all I played was the little bit of Super Ghouls and Ghosts at the time, and the NES port and the and the NES port of. Oh. Um, 
I hate that uh, one. The Rainbow Ghosts and Goblins. Call me crazy, but I think I like the Game Boy Color Port of Ghosts and Goblins. That's fine, probably. All right, we're on the bosses. Uh, I don't know who's. Oh I don't know who to start with. I, took a, I guess I'm going to start with Chili Willy Penguin. But I will say, that in the past, I used to like starting with Storm Eagle because I like doing that fight without the dash boots. It's kind of challenging and fun. Oh, I always start with Storm. Oh, okay. I love Storm. I always start with Storm Eagle. You know what? You know what? Just Eagle, for you, just for you, just for you, we're going to start with Storm Eagle. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. <clears throat> yeah. The only thing is you gotta come back here because it's, it's a little more efficient to do it with Chill Penguin because you got the dash boots and you actually get the heart tank here. But you gotta come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. You have to go back if you do um, if you do Chill Penguin first, then. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got. Oh, that right. nothing's yeah. actually bad. You. Yeah, nothing's actually. If you go bad. to Chill Penguin first, then you don't have to revisit either uh, either Storm Eagle or Mam uh, Flame Mammoth. Yeah. But, but yeah, Storm Eagle is like. It's a good level. Yeah, it's a very good level. Um, it mainly just the boss. Oh my god, this is just one of the coolest boss fights because just the setting. It's uh, dynamic. It's really great. At least I can get the uh, the it's sub the dynamic. sub tank. So that, there's that. Yeah, you can get the sub tank. Smash! Oh my god, I love I have that. This game memorized. I uh. I remember ages ago, I think one of my old LP friends said that every day after school he would come home and beat this game. Or something like that. Yep. Cool. It's, it's a good game. It's really, really good. It earns it. It's, yeah. Is this your favorite Mega Man? Uh, it's my favorite Mega Man X. <laughs> well, what's your favorite? I mean, there's a number of really good answers. Well, to that. well, uh, let's see. Classic, I'd say either nine or one. Cool. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool, Because cool. Bas basically, it, yeah, it, one's worth, no, yeah. one has a lot of the magic. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like one. It's, it's I guess, it's, it's a little tough and it's rough around the edges, yeah. but you know that kind of stuff don't yeah, harsh it's us. It's a little clumsy. Mm. Now it's it's a little clumsy at points, but it has the kind mm -hmm. of a lot of the magic is just right there in the original. Also, it, um, so also it has a shitty stuff. <laughs> yeah. Also, it has an unwinnable fail state if you miss the magnet beam. <laughs> oh. For every time Fresno dies, John has to emasculate himself. Why? Why would John need to emasculate himself if I lose? I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what the context for that is. Like. There's a lot of emasculating actions, but, like, what is the specific demand there? Every time I die, you have to say something bad about the Final Fantasy legend. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, Fresno, skipping the one up. Skipping? What do you mean Look skipping? Look at you, all fancy. Yeah, I'm fancy. I don't need it. Actually, you skipped yes, the I one do. up back there. I sh Did I? Did I really? Did Are you I going backwards? Don't go backwards. Don't just skip the one up and get this one. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, you're kind of on a delay because I don't know how to screen share yet. I, this something, that's something I'll try to learn. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean that one up. I meant that you skipped the one up all the way back there. So it must have been a while ago for you. Yeah, maybe. All right, I mean, anytime. Uh, I, don't, I don't own any Saga games, Polly. He says, anytime I die, I have to... Um, anytime you die, I have to trash the, the Saga games. And not the good, bad ones that the bad ones that I play, the good ones that I like. Hmm. Now where is the uh, So platform? that sounds sad. Because I played two I played two bad saga games and two really good ones. Ooh. So I if if you die I'll trash on um mm. Polly says screen sharing is just right click on screen share, so maybe go for that. Alright, well I'll try that after I beat Storm Eagle here. We're fighting them so Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's the button on. I just I could share screens pretty easily. Okay, it might it might lag things out for the streamer oh, maybe because, yeah, yeah. Look at me. Okay, where's he, where's he coming from? Is he spitting eggs? He's spitting an egg. Okay. Oh my god, this fucking fight is so good. It's so great, and it's, also it's, just the design. Oh, okay, Ugh. come on. Jeez, he's he's swooping at odd angles on me, and I. Okay, there we yeah. go. Oh, dang. Ooh. There we go. 
Man, he's just Ooh. non-stop swooping today. Oh. Eggs? Yeah. Okay, eggs. Yeah, I think... What's your favorite Mega Man X boss of the core eight? In this in this game, uh, you give me a second to th really give me give me a second to think about it because I'm kind of like fighting. yeah I'm in, I'm in the middle of fighting. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> this one's pretty good. <laughs> I like this one. I kind of like the fight with Boomer mm -hmm. Kowanger. Uh, oh yeah, this one has a Storm Eagle has a good amount of dead space in the fights because there's a lot yep. of just getting blown about. Yep. Um, so it's all very dramatic, especially. Oops! I took another hit there. On the, both sides. Oh my god! Oh, this is this but, is starting um, to go pear shaped for me here. There's a couple fights that are a little more dynamic. There's a couple fights that are a little more dynamic, even if they're not as. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I died. You got Okay, I died. You got to say something bad about Saga. Ah shit! Oh no! All right. No! All right, hang on here. Oh. Now I get to watch you die. Now, how do I do the okay. screen share thing? So I right click, right click on my face. Right click on your face. Share screens. Okay. Um, start. Okay, can I pick like a region or what? Okay, here we go. How do I how do I like change the region so you don't see just my entire desktop here? Yeah, that's necessary. Cause there's like there's, there's gotta be a way that I can like short change it so you don't look at my entire goddamn desktop so you can just see the game. Mm -hmm. you know, do you know how to change the dimensions on this thing? No. Shoot. Uh, there's gotta be a way to do that. You're just gonna put... Okay, yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, because you, otherwise you're gonna see like a postage stamp. Of okay. the game. Now... I don't, I don't actually know how to, like, uh, do the thing. Because I didn't test this part. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm Googling it. Okay. Gives me t While I'm doing that, I can think of uh, cool bosses in Mega Man X. Let's see, Storm Eagle's obviously a great fight. Um, I think um, the fight with the electric guy. Um, mm. See, I haven't done that fight without cheesing him with shotgun ice for a long time. Yeah. Me neither. But when you do, mm. it is so good. It's such a dynamic, really cool fight. Okay. And Armored Armadillo yeah, I mean, is a pretty cool fight if you uh, if you knock out his uh, shield. Anyway, what you were saying? Yeah, otherwise he's very... Mm -hmm. Yeah, otherwise... Um, Otherwise, Armored Armadillo is very, very static, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it does take a while if you don't knock out his shield. Stink Chameleon's a cool fight, but I don't like it because there's too much random bullshit. Like it's yeah, it's it's a very random fight. It's that that fight is what killed my um desire to do the thing in my bobber. Oh you know? oh yeah, that. <laughs> Here, just just um, I can just. Am, is my, am I still coming in clear? Yeah, you're still fine. I can hear you. Okay, just just exit. Just don't worry about it. Start playing the game. Okay. Um, I need it. I don't need it to be um, full size anyway, so I can just watch oops. the. Now, chat. How, how do I how do I not screen share now? No screen share. I'll just keep screen sharing. Okay, just keep as screen. You are. Okay, okay. Per All right, here you go you. then. You can look at my purple desktop with far too much shit on it. That's totally okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. As long as I'm coming in clear for the rest of the people, we're good. Mm-hmm. All right, let's rematch this fellow. Oh. Okay, you're just pushing me along. That's fine. Eggs! Okay, he's diving now. Oh, he's coming down again. Good man. Um, yeah, this this fight was always this guy. Oh shit! I have to trash a saga game, don't I? Yes. Or Polly's gonna be bad and sad. Jesus. Aww. Oh no. Okay. How should I start? Um. 
Okay, I got I gotta be I gotta be uh, better at this fight actually because I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh no. Okay. Focus, Fresno. You got this. I do. It's, I got. Really I got. It. It's fight, dude. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's okay. I'm. I'm just uh, bad at hitting him while he's dive bombing. That's my only problem with it. Ah, that's. Man. There we go. That's what well, you gotta just, do. If If you're starting to take damage, then just play it safe while he's dive bombing you. Yeah. It's. It's okay. I. I figured it out. I just gotta not jump okay. up and try to hit him. Just. Oh, never mind. I moved into it, but that's that's okay. Now, now oh, I know. Oh, dude. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. All right, I'm gonna trash Saga One and Saga Two. All, All right. right, Saga One is just really broken and glitchy. Oh, oh man. There's large sections. Sometimes as ground tile, they just use solid white. So and have large regions of it. So you just wander around and you don't actually see anything moving. Instead of like a border to the world they have like this weird glitch tile so the, you go to the edge of the world and it's just this weird glitch tile you can't pro cross which is in no way totally cool and weird <laughs> um and you can most of the bosses you can just cheese by the end which is really unfortunate um or not um <laughs> saga 2 has mm, I do not I did not feel much resonance with the dad plots main plot of Saga 2 and the ending bit of it really didn't really just kind of confused me and didn't resonate with me emotionally at all and I have a lot of difficulty processing that in relation to my love of the game oh dear how, how is that Polly is that okay that's some pretty good you. bashing of a yeah. yeah. Man, fuck those games. <laughs> yeah, they're so bad. Don't die again. I'll do my best. Hey, John, your bashing of Saga worked so well that I did the fight no damage. No, no, he's the... Yeah, he just... You just don't like Mega Man X1. Oh. Poor Mega Man X1. It's okay, Anna. Sadness. Here, yeah, I'm. Is, well, is there, is there like a re is there, is there is there a reason she doesn't like Mega Man X One beyond it, it? She had a bad it's time with really it. Really fucking hard. Okay. Yeah. Just go ahead. Can you just go ahead and end screen sharing for me? It's um too glitchy. Okay. Fair enough. We. we it, was a, it, was worth, it was worth a shot. Okay. How do I end it? Yeah. Stop sharing screen. If I could just like, if I could just like a uh, share a little window on it, that'd be fine. All right. Now we're gonna go after Chill Penguin because why not? Cool. Could have gone after Flame Mammoth, but eh. There Ch we go. Chilly Willy Penguin. <clears throat> this is a nice stage, though. Yeah, you ever, have you ever played Mega Man Extreme for Game Boy Color? Yes. It's very fun. It's um. I've only played the original Extreme once. I played Mega Man Extreme two many times over. That's, I think that that's game is really good. Yeah, that's that's my exact experience too. Because I had Extreme two, but I never played the first Extreme. Uh -huh, and then uh -huh. I played it. and I'm like, okay, this is this is kind of nice, but at the same time, kind of weird. Basically, my experience lacking. with it was. Mm -hmm. My friend had a copy of Mega Man Extreme two, and I played it to death. So I asked my mom for Mega Man Extreme two. And then she got me Mega Man Extreme 1. Oh. It was very, very morose and horrible. It's not at all. But I sat down and beat it that day. And then I was like, oh. It took me a while to beat Extreme 2. Because, like, I, I wasn't really into Mega Man. Like, I used to be terrible. I used to be terrible at Mega Man. Yeah. I used to be terrible at Mega Man. Extreme yeah, well, 2 might have been, like, the first Mega Man game I beat. Be. Well. <laughs> In in retrospect, like like zero the zero games were really hard to me. Then I bought a copy of Mega Man ZX for myself for my birthday. Uh, that was like nine years ago, and I God, and I, and I got good at it. And then I went back and beat the old games. Excellent. Oh wow, that's so. Huh. Mm. So had you played like Mega Man X one or two as a kid, or Mega Man two like as a kid? 
Uh, Mega Man 2, games? yes. I believe I, I know I borrowed that from someone in like 1995. I lent my Game Boy to them for it. But I didn't actually beat it. Because I don't... I either... I beat all the eight guys and did Wily Castle, or I had a tip book to get to Wily Castle, and make a wild guess at what boss stopped me dead. The dragon? No. The dragon? No. I okay. Oh fuck the boo beam trap. Yeah. Motherfucking boo, boo beam, beam trap. trap. <laughs> I I was ten and I was I was I was not smart about video games. I could not figure that shit out. That's. That's baloney. Yep. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh. Yeah, it's. I took a while to beat two. I think I beat Mega Man one, and then Mega Man nine, and then Mega Man two, and then Mega mm. Man eight, and then three, and then seven. Yeah. The the and reason four, I love the reason I love nine I is uh, a. Yeah. The reason I love nine, I think, is because it's it's a no bullshit version of Mega Man two. But I guess it also kind of loses. It kind of loses the magic. I guess it's sort of prescriptive as to the to think that you know, hey, it's Mega Man Nine. No, no, that's not. No, I no. mean Mega Man Nine just has a different. It has a different psychology, and I really, really, really prefer um, the storytelling in two. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, does that, that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. Mega Man Nine does have some storytelling, but it's more tongue in cheek than the uh, cool yeah, journey. It's... Uh, what what the, what what did you write about Mega Man Two for my blog? I forget. It's a journey about a lot. About yeah, Mega Man 2. you wrote a lot. And meanwhile, I fuck that Mega Man 2. yeah. Well, I I wrote a poem in iambic pentameter about Mega Man One. So fair enough. But yeah, the stuff that's in Mega Man One and Two is the stuff that's not in most of, that I love about Mega Man One and Two isn't in most other Mega Man games, and that's why I love them so much. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. that's those are that's the stuff that makes me um, mm -hmm. like them probably more than nine. Yeah. Three, nine three is nice. Three is nice, like but the problem with three is that uh, it kind of falls right the hell apart in the middle of it. Yeah, and then it just doesn't really have a climax. It just kind of piddles. Yeah. Like an air letting, getting let out of the balloon. <laughs> so, which is true of all of the uh, all of the other NES games, but they don't have like kind of great stages to begin with so i like three but the other one's really pretty lame in comparison Ooh. um but so, yeah there's just kind of an attention to storytelling finesse in mega man one and two <clears throat> and mega man x1 for that matter oh yeah yeah you know? mm -hmm. yeah mega man x1 really does have that same vibe i i, I and it it shows when you get to the uh End game, and instead of just yeah. war, instead it's just like Mega Man One. Instead of just warping into the room with the eight capsules, you run through a level, yep. and the bosses just show up. Oh my god! And instead of um, and you actively invade the last level, you okay. climb up onto the uh, floating castle, <laughs> the floating um, fortress in yeah. Mega Man X One. Yep. And then in Mega Man One and Two, you bust in through the side. Mm. So, so, John, who oh. should we do next since we got both their weaknesses? Flame Mammoth or Spark Mandrel? Um, you can get all of the power-ups in Flame Mammoth stage now. Okay, let's... Probably launch Octopus. Oh, my God, I'm not busted if you want to launch fucking Octopus. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> he's... T he's a... T he's not one of my favorite fights in this game. Just go for Flame Mammoth. Yeah, okay, I went for Flame Mammoth. Honestly, Vile is my favorite fight. Oh, well, yeah, that's that's a good fight. Yeah, I said Ma the Mavericks earlier, but Vile, um, no weapons or power-ups, is just the most exhilarating and intense thing, while still just barely being fair and, like, reactable. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've heard that from uh, Hide a Beast, too. You ever, you ever watch Hide a Beast? Oh, 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 oh I've, yeah. I've watched I've watched Hide a Beast's entire, like, Mega Man X collection, like, three or four times. Yeah, me. Uh, I think I only watched all of them once, but I, I'm probably going to revisit oh, them. They're oh wait, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get everything in, in Flame Mammoth yet because I don't have the uh, Smashy Smash. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm just the worst. That's okay. We can backtrack. Yeah, because I beat, I beat, I beat um, Eagle, Flame Mammoth, 
chill penguin, and then I go back to eagle and flame mammoth. At least I can get the heart tank. Oh. Yeah, I get the heart tank because I beat chill penguin. Yeah. So that's exactly, that's what I was thinking of. And you have the dash boots, so you can get the sub tank. Well, you need to, you need to break the wall too, don't you, for the sub tank? Yeah, but you can use the boots for that. Can you? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Let's see about that. Okay, I'm gonna go over there. Because it's different. Because you need the, you can break the boots with, you can break the walls with the boots. Okay, well. You just let's... can't. But it's just. I can't the, go up. The capsule. Yeah, I can't yeah, go up. Yeah, the capsule you can't go up. In the sub tank you don't need to. Well, I'll they be don't... goddamn. You're right. I just smashed the <laughs> walls. Okay. Oh, John. John Thayer knows his Megamans. Yes, I know this Mega Man very well. Very intimately. Mm. I know one stage of this Mega Man very intimately. As in Sigma One. Yeah. You poor. There you go. You poor man. Some tank up. What's funny is that the fir the first entries of Mega Man re Mega Man series are usually my favorite. Like Mega Man One, one of my favorites. Mega Man X One, definitely my favorite. Well, I, 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 I gotta confess, Legends, I've not played. It's been on my list for ages. I, if I ever get, like, the inclination to do it, I want to do it, because everyone and their mother says it's really good. I replayed it. It's really... Uh, Taylor doesn't like it. Just whatever. God. I wonder why. She said because she didn't like the controls. Is what? Is it, is it, mm. is it pre-analog? Pre yes. Okay, I can understand that, I guess. Yeah, if you hate heart and soul. <laughs> if you, yeah, okay, okay, it makes up for it, I guess. You hate the forces of good. All right, let's let's fight flame mammoth. And uh, Mega Man ZX is fantastic too, and Zero One. It really also. is. <laughs> yeah, I, I I played Zero Two a bunch as a kid, so I kind of like have a lot of attachment to that one. I only played through all of them once, and I need to go back and visit those games because I'm pretty sure mm. they're completely amazing. The only one I owned before the collection was Zero Four, which I like, but which is probably the weakest one, right? Is it? Uh, I guess I, I I I dig it, but it's definitely it tones yeah. things down a lot. Like that series toned itself down as it went on, because Zero One's just brutal, but its brutality mm. also matches like the tone of the game, so I really appreciate yeah, it for that. That's great. And then ZX Absolutely. and then ZX is fantastic. It it didn't do the the, the world it, and the map it didn't do it quite right, but uh, I still love it. Oh, who cares? It's so good. And Advent, I'm, how do you feel about Advent? Do you like it? I played it once. I remember enjoying it. I like I it, those but levels were really hard. I like it, but I, I don't think. But I don't really like the new power-ups and uh, you end up just defaulting to all your old models from ZX when you get them. Yes. So. Yes, definitely. Let's, let's go Spark Mandra next, I guess. Get him Being out of Being able way. to turn into the boss is cool and all, but is whatever. It, I, it, I actually just tweeted the stream finally. I don't know why I did Twitter earlier. Oh, that's, I'm glad that's that we fig figured yeah. out the technical stuff, so. Yeah, for the most part. The screen. I would like to know how the screen share more than just the desktop. Like, well, the, it, focus we in. We couldn't carry it over the internet connection. So yeah, the, my, my connection is... My connection's bad, I, I know. That's, Don't worry about I it. I got certain shortcomings um, here. Spark Mantle's really good. He's a good fight. Gotta love, the, um, gotta love the stage here where the stuff getting destroyed by Storm Eagle's ship crashing. Oh, right. That's I, one thing that uh, none of the other Mega Man games do, do, do they? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, Mega Man ZX, uh, Mega Man Zero One also did the interconnected stages thing that didn't get picked back up on until ZX. Oh yeah, yeah. And then and then um, ZX Advent. That's another thing they ditched, didn't they? They made it a bunch of inter disconnected levels. Did they? I'm pretty sure. It's been so um, long since I did ZX Advent because I just I kind of. They had don't... a map, but they just kind of teleported you to a bunch of new areas. It was, felt unfortunate. That is unfortunate. The name is really dumb. And, and you know, you know, you know what else uh, annoyed me about ZX Advent, and it's it's the pettiest goddamn thing. But did did you play like what? the uh, girls storyline? 
Uh, no, I think I played the boy storyline. Okay, I played both. In the girls, I was in, weir- I was in a weird place in my life where I was always picking the boy protagonist instead of the girl protagonist. Oh, I know that. I I, 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 I used to I used to make fun of Blazy for I was picking the girl protagonist in his games, and now I'm like, holy like, shit, the girl. Prot- Holy shit, we need more rad girls in video games. I'm picking the girl protagonist every, every time now. Because if you have the opportunity to, it's not like you are going to get the chance to much up, much, much other places. Exactly. Storm Eagle's weapon is really good on this mini boss. Oh yeah, so it is. Why don't we do that? Yeah. This is just kind of a slow fight here. Okay. Is this boss weaker if you don't if you beat him um, with if you beat Storm Eagle first? I don't know. It doesn't shoot lightning. If, I think it, it shoots lightning if you um. See, he's not. He's failing to shoot the lightning. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, at that. that does a lot of damage. I haven't been using my special weapons that much. Storm Eagle is probably the closest thing this game has to a metal blade. Just shoot him. You you can you can break out of the things by shooting, um, Storm Eagle's weapon. I just I just oh, jig- I, I, I usually just jiggle. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I was getting back there to a know. ZX event. The stupidest, the stupidest goddamn pettiest complaint is that uh, the girl yeah. character, she's like a, a treasure hunter, roguey sort of lady, like a sky pirate or whatever. Yeah. But in this cool. get in in ZX event in the U.S. release, I guess they never call yeah. it treasure. They always call it booty. And it just annoys me <laughs> to hear this voice saying, "We're going to get all the booty. All the booty is mine." And it just took me out of things really completely. Funny. I don't see why that is a negative. It's it's just That's t- really funny. Yeah. Oh, I know I know Storm Tornado works well in these these turtles. I know that much. Okay, now we gotta try and do some deft jumping to get this uh heart tank. Okay. <laughs> there okay, we go. Turtles are so infuriating, we're gonna try and play the game. Um, yeah. any power-ups. It's basically just, uh, destroy your thumbs! Uh, that, level. that was, that was what, are, what were they, what were they, what level were they in? Uh, they're, oh yeah, they're at the start of Sigma 1, right. Yeah, they are. Oh. Sigma 2 was really fun, because you, I had to figure out how to beat the things without the right armors. Yeah. Um, and they, they are not meant to... That's the one part of the game where they just did not prepare for that possibility that you would play the game that way. So um, they just glitch the hell out. And the, ol- the only way to um, consistently beat them is to manipulate the glitches. Oh, wow. Uh, um, it's not a glitch. It's just that their behavior is very random and um, not obviously not meant to be beaten without... Um, before I uh, before I, before I go into the thing, let me just check uh, Twitch again to uh, see if the uh, chat will pop out because I'm because I'm here heard anything from the I just, chat lately. I just, no, no, all I saw is um somebody named Kenji numbers going. You started this. All oh, hi Rizu. That's oh, that's oh, that's Rizu. Hi Rizu. What? That's a friend of mine. That's Rizu. Oh. Yeah, that's Rizu. Cool. That's her name. Ten digit number. And I think the oh. chat and I think the chat popped oh, out just... now. So yeah, okay. I can actually. So I can read. So I can read what y'all are saying now, because it wasn't working. Oh, she's still here. Yep. Rad. Okay. Oh, I charged up the Mega Buster. Do I have a life? Let's let's see if I can't actually fight this guy. I I don't know how, but let's see. Do I have? Okay, a, just remember. Just I have three remember lives. Remember that the charge shot um knocks. Remember that the charge shot knocks him away. All right. Okay. So um, if he starts coming at you with this punch, shoot him with a charge shot, and then he will... Oops. That is absolutely necessary. Okay. Alright, this is an easy time to hit him with a couple charge shots. Alright, wait. If you wait just a second, you, you can see if he's about to come punch you, and then you can see. Otherwise, you're going to take damage. Wait for Whoa! it. Oh! Oh my god. Wait okay. For it. Okay. okay, now he's, hit him. He's a... Uh, oh, okay. He's really... Aggressive. Okay. Yes, he's so aggressive. See how good this fight is? Yeah, it's a really good fight. I almost had him. I I almost had him. I almost had him. (laughs) But that's doing really well. Yeah, I was do I was doing good there. I can I I want to try that again, because I can I was only at I think I was only at like I I was at a little health. I was only at a little bit of health. 
So I didn't have full health for that fight, so I can mulligan that. Your tip about waiting out his pu to see if he's either going to punch or do the spark. That's a good tip. Exactly. Punch! Okay. Very good tip. Punch! Oh, he still hit me. I have good <laughs> And when it climbs up, I can get a nice Never knew that Andrew was a, was a kind of baboon or something. Look at that. <laughs> punch. He does oh. the double punch sometimes. I think, I think you might have time to charge up a um, little tiny shot in between those. Or at least let me climb out of the way. I don't know. Because I, I was trying to beat, learn how to beat this fight so consistently without taking damage that I could... Um, <laughs> beat the whole level and the fight in one go. Without I got I got him, by the way. <laughs> right. Wow! Okay, that's a really cool fight, that's Buster perfect. Duel only. Thank you, Jason. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? That's like maybe maybe the best fight of Mavericks if you um, don't cheese it. Yeah, you just gotta be patient and uh, lay down his punches. It's, it's a really neat fight. Okay, that just became one of my uh, favorite fights now. Thank you. I know! Okay, who's uh, weak to spark? It's, it's, it's really uh, good I'm a Darmadillo. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And this fight becomes really fun if you um, have his weakness. So it's the reverse. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll try Buster's oh, this is too. My, this is my favorite stage. Never mind. Okay, this is a this good is stage. This is a really is good a, stage. I'll give you that. It's so fast. It moves so fast. I love it. I it's, love it. It's really kinetic. And and it's great for farming the uh, sub-tank mm -hmm. energy, too. Absolutely. Um, give me two seconds. I want to go big. Okay. So yeah, that's that John Fire. He sure knows his uh, stuff about Megamins, which is this, this is what I wanted. Just a chill conversation. Do you do you climb up and get a tank from this guy or not? I forget. You sure do. Okay, that was that was really smart of me to remember that. All right. Excelente. Oh, I filled up another tank. It's good. This is a really good game, y'all. So I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves here. It's a, it's a, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time playing this uh, computer game. Ooh, I almost fucked that one up. Okay, that's fine. I'm back. Hi again. Oh my god. This boss, though. I mean, yeah. no, I mean this stage. Yeah, all the cards. Um, Holy shit. <laughs> My favorite stage is definitely actually Sigma 1, but this is my favorite Maverick stage. Oh, it's not hard to see why. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Is he gonna drop some health or something? Nah, he didn't. Okay. Grab a heart tank. I gotta remember which heart tanks I have and which ones I don't. For later. Um, I really love the heart tank. I, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of well hidden upgrades in this one, just relating to the yeah. uh, boss I, there. I guess we'll go for 100%. I, we might get Hadoken just for posterity, but I don't think I'll ever use it. Because I don't really like using oh, yeah. it. But it's a, fu it's a fun Easter egg. <laughs> oh, yeah, of totally. Yeah. Too bad that Mega Man X3 never added the Tet Smack, but you know. <laughs> the spin kick. Because <laughs> that, that would complete the set, right? It's back. Yeah, I get it. Oh, hold on. John, did you drop? No, he's still here. Just went quiet, is all. That's okay. Just 
Actually, we should put him back up just so I can make sure it doesn't drop. Yeah, let's just uh, put him right there. And we'll see now. Okay, good. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. You, uh, you, you had to go there for a sec or what? I'm so, yeah, I did. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah, so Buster doing this guy without his armor is pretty simple. But with, yeah, exactly. with is just kind of tedious. Oops. Yeah, exactly. Which is unfortunate. But it's a really good... It's... Ah! <gasps> this what, the, um, the, the char attack deals so much damage on this level, don't they? The... the um, I'm just finishing off with, the, with the spark. Do they? Yeah, I guess they do. Wah! There. I remember being really surprised once when I got hit by one. Hit by one. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a cool fight. It's 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 not a hard fight. It's just kind of tedious without no. the Buster. And a little, it's, it's just it's a good Mega Man fight, you know. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. A little tedious with the Buster. The thing okay. with the thing that kind of makes the the. Um, certain fights really memorable is when they can have multiple moves and they kind of progress randomly from different from move to move so you have to know how to be in a space where you can react to each move oh those are the best kind of um, megman fights mm -hmm. exactly it, that, that's kind of the big thing coming off of the nes games is that Mega Man x really tone um makes the behaviors of the bosses more complex and interesting Oh yeah, absolutely. Because like, yeah, with like Woodman and Airman, the it's just a very simple pattern, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, Airman, it's a very simple pattern, and then sometimes you just can't dodge the attack. So, oh, lovely! Yeah. Those are those kind of attacks are frustrating. Launch Octopus. Hey, how, how do you? Really good to it. Really. Mm. How do you fight Launch Octopus? With the um, rolling shield. Yeah, you fight. I fight him. I fight him with the rolling shield. Yeah, it's it's neat. I don't know how fond I am of the, this particular mini boss, though. I never found a good weapon to do lots of damage to. Even Storm Tornado like takes a lot of hits. What do you think? The um the mini boss here. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, dodging their 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 um snakes is really hard. It is. I think I. This is one where I, n I never beat this stage without taking damage. Um, I got stuck on this one and um, Sting Chameleon. Do you know anything that does more damage to them? I, I would use the Storm Tornado there. Yeah, I'd use the Storm Tornado. Oh wow, okay. I just I, uh, I just wasted my entire shot of the Storm Tornado because I thought I could break out of the fish easy with it, but it only does one damage when you're inside. Mm. So. Ah, bummer. So now I gotta deal with eee, this. Eee, bummer! Okay, what what can I do for, with you? E spark? Maybe E spark. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, E spark. E spark. E spark works. Really cool too. Oh yeah, that's a great one. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's coming up soon, I think. Uh, is it this? Ooh. No, it's not this. Oh, one. E spark really does work. Okay, I'll have to remember that next time. Mhm. Mm yeah, the, I guess the best way to d consistently hit the dodge the um, snakes is that you need to sh kill them, just shoot them away, right? I guess that seems to work. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind if I ever come back to this one to do that stupid. Hide a beast is, is a machine. Absolutely. Swear, right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I think he. I think he was. He kind of progress up to doing that run the no damage minimalist challenge <laughs> uh, whereas I just kind of tried to leap to that like I never even really tried to speed run this game before you know neither have I um, so trying to do that directly was too much I can try to maybe foster that level of connection with this game maybe maybe can I get maybe. on yep I can get on this guy now no, that won't work. Oh, this is a this is a good mini boss. 
It is, but now I don't have any storm tornado, so it's kind of. I guess I'll just. Uh, oh, it's gonna be hammer button. Oh yeah, it's smart. Oh no, you can't use your fire shield under here. Yep. Yeah, you can kind of button mash on these guys, and that keeps care of them pretty quick. I'm afraid. Yeah, that, I'm afraid he's gonna go up too high and crush me. I don't know. I don't even know if that can happen. Okay, don't fall on spikes. <laughs> Good. Didn't fall on spikes. You got this. Yeah, I got this. Don't worry. What is this? this is, okay, this oh, is a hard. This tank. was my okay. favorite game as a kid, though. For reasons. Mine was a. I, I said it. But Donkey Kong Country Two was my formative Super Nintendo game. Mm -hmm. It's weird because I had the first yeah, one, but then the, two, the second was just so much I... better. Yeah, I had both of them, but I always got stuck in the second one and in the second world. Um, oh, yeah. But I never beat the, the first. And then, and then there's the third, which I the third's okay, but you know how everyone likes to complain about Rare becoming like I, a collectible machine in the N64 days? Uh -huh. Donkey Kong Country 3 was like sort of the genesis of that. It's like the halfway point. Mm. The Super Nintendo was the genesis of that. Like, there's a bunch of games that kind of start falling. Like, I feel like you can start seeing the beginnings of that mindset and maybe even Super Mario World. Yeah, but yeah, um, we, yeah, I guess. But I think the, I think that was three. The game where the secrets. Yeah. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country Three is obviously. It's a liminal point. I like I never like, actually yeah. I never played it because I was never really crazy about one or two. So hmm. I've only finished one. Um, so I was like, oh, this is the one that's that stuff, but worse. Yeah, basically. So that didn't sound too enticing. Like, Super Mario World isn't so bad with it, but something like, uh, I don't know, Banjo-Kazooie or Donkey Kong 64 is usually the point where people are like, okay, wow, rare, too many collectibles. Blah, blah, blah. Donkey Kong Country 3 is sort yeah. of the uh, in-between point between those. There are too many collectibles... Uh -huh. But it's not to such a degree as something like Donkey Kong 64. Mm hmm. But what? seriously, though, just, just kind of look at Mario World for a minute. Think about how Mario 3 handles secrets versus how Mario World. Because in Mario World, you have a save file and you have a little meter that tells you what, uh, how many levels it's. And. All the different level entrances are color coded depending on whether or not they have a secret entrance in the level. Mm -hmm. So it it's moving away from it being actual secrets and being more like kind of like a checklist, I think. Hmm. Um, whereas something like the secret um, whistles in Super Mario Brothers Three are well well thought, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, that's um, nice. Are. Mm -hmm. But something like the hidden whistles in Mario 3 are just obtuse and out of the way and just there as little bits of extra, extra stuff, yeah. So, oh, which, yeah, obviously, Boomer Kimmy. This is a great level. Oh, we're yeah. We're talking about the really good stages in this one. Oh, yeah. Excellent it's just level. It's just... You know, just great. It all is about just moving up with just a little bit of, of horizontalness every now and then for flavor. It's great. And and that this is the kind of game, this is the first time where vertical themed stages really work in a Mega Man game, right? Yeah. Like, Elect Man, Mega Man no. Games. No. Elect, Elect Man, Man no. Crash Man, even then, not really. But Cr this stage, you have the... Thing now it just trans you can approach these sort of levels mm -hmm. I love those um uh, shield enemies too they're very just thoughtful and interesting and this is also Obviously, like train this is also basically training for Sigma one too because they just repeat yeah, they just yeah. repeat this in the back half but way harder yeah the same enemies even yep it's the same oh, thing it's, it's so good it's it so is. good it's completely learnable. It's not at all bullshit. Because if it was bullshit, you wouldn't be able to consistently do it without taking damage, and I could do so. I've done it on... Um, I did it on a keyboard, I, John, back in the emulation days. So it's definitely possible. 
Yeah. Oh my God. Keyboarding this game is so hard. This play, just playing this game on a regular SNES controller is really hard. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, I've got I've got I'm using the dash, hold yeah. the charge at the same time. Yeah, I'm using the 360 pad, so it's the same sort of deal. I got to do that dumb claw thing. I don't like it. Can you? Uh, whenever I play the game, I just put that put the dash on the L or R button. Huh, I could do that, but mm, I, I I go inauthentic here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually I usually do that for bitch. I beat this game on a flight stick. I went to flight study stick on Windows ninety five. Holy shit, GTF! <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, maybe this is my favorite level. Mm. Well, both this and Armored Armadillo have are very just explicitly themed levels. This one's built around verticality, and um, Armored Armadillo is built around momentum. That's you know. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. So yeah, I, I'm I'm with I'm just you. Trying to think. Those levels are these levels are pretty yeah. well designed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Launch Octopus has a lot of has the wide open spaces underwater that you can dash through, which is really interesting. And it's, it, it just has the most open spaces at any of the levels, mm -hmm. I think. And it also has sort of a mini boss, uh, boss rush sort of thing Bonanza. to it, because yeah, you got which is less interesting. Yeah, because you got the, uh, you've get, well, yeah, it's, you got the two, like, things, and then you got the two snakes. So, it's okay. I can't get this shit, At least the, no. the bosses aren't just repeated, at least the bosses aren't just repeated, like, plain and simple. Both of them, they basically, they use the same trick both times. They add spikes to the fights after um, establishing them. And the second of the fight with the um, spider, with the snake is interesting, because... Yeah, you can't get that without Boomer Kewanger. Or maybe a charged... I think you can get charged a shotgun with ice. With and a charged shotgun ice. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking of. Either way, either way, I gotta come back, so it's okay. Yeah. Because somebody went to play Mammoth's level before getting the um, helmet. Oh, well. <laughs> Backtracking is a thing that happened anyway. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You know what's fun? Trying to beat this guy, Buster, only without dashing. Yes, no, that's very hard. That's very hard. Yeah, that's why I'm using the torpedoes. It's, that's not what we're doing tonight. Yeah, because that's why you notice that I had to, because this is the one monster fight you fight in um. Sigma Sigma one, yeah. Oh, you poor man. So I lost almost. I I wound up losing almost all my runs to either Bile or this guy. Well, yeah. Not even the. The Tunnel of Doom. The Tunnel of Doom was trivial in comparison. Wait, what's the Tunnel of Doom? What's the tunnel? The the vertical Tunnel of Doom. Oh, okay, you know? okay, okay. I, I was thinking the horizontal tunnel, but the climb. That's what you mean. Yeah, the climb. Okay. Man. The climb. This guy really. This guy isn't that hard, Busterless, but. Dashless. Okay, he is. <laughs> Dashless is the problem. Yeah. It really is. You, you can figure him out. He's not. He's easier than Vile. Mm -hmm. um, God, Vile's good though. Vile. It's a really good fight with the dash boots. Without the dash boots, it's still a really good fight. But it's maybe too. It's just too much. <laughs> Fun for fact. The average person. When I first played this yeah. game, Sting Chameleon was who I first tried to start with. Oh. Bummer. Oh, that's that's not a good choice. It's really it's not a good choice. Yeah, I played this as like one of my first platforms, so I, I kind of hammered away at this game for like a year. Um, mm -hmm. I beat it. Um, so for a long time, Sting Chameleon and Launch Octopus held kind of mystique for me. Um, beating them was like a tremendous event. They were your turbo because tunnel. Of, you know? Yeah, exactly. Now what can I get here? I can get the, uh, the armor. I think. Fight, um, What's yeah, he? Fight what's Otto, not Otto week two here? Is it boomerang cutter? <laughs> I was about to say you can go fight Otto. And he, hmm, what can you use on this? I always use the um, homing torpedo. Hmm, let's try that. The butt upgrade. <laughs> also, charge shots won't work fine, but whatever. Yeah, we'll try the homing torpedoes for a bit. Can I? Can he hit me from up here if I just 
sort of hover on the wall. No, I can uh -huh. just, uh, I, I can know. just, I can just sort of cheese them like this. Wow, jerk. They really got chat latency down there. It sounded pretty fast, didn't it? I guess they did. Yeah, okay. This, I think I'm going oh uh, yeah, I think I'm going back to the charge shots. This is this plinking's not really working. Yeah. Yeah. It's boring too. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this is a cool mini boss. It's so cool that this mini boss is completely hidden. Like the one in um Launch Octopus is just kind of a retread, but this one is just original and cool and completely just for the people who are playing the really playing these stages intently. Yep. Did you play Rondo Blood? Uh, Castlevania? What What about Rondo Blood? I'm just kind of com thinking about how, thinking about comparing um, uh this game's approach to secrets with Super Mario Worlds, with Rondo Bloods, with Castlevania 3s. Oh, yeah. Um, Rondo's great. This game, yeah. I think this <clears throat> game hits a nice balance where the secrets are just, like, there to encourage you to play the levels thoughtfully instead of being kind of hmm. a checklist, you know, instead of being the point. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of get that with Donkey Kong Country, too, as well, just... You really gotta, like, there's just enough secrets that it's not just, but it's kind of a checklist because at the end of the uh, stage or they whatever, have you have you have like the little check mark on it at, at when you get everything in the level. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, how do you get this? Well, secret? for what it's worth, whenever I played the Donkey Kong Country games, I wasn't thinking at all about the secrets, so yeah. I feel like that's a good sign, you know. Oh, don't forget the heart tank. Yep, I got it. Cool. Yeah, here you need the dash boots too. Yep. You need the dash boots and you need to launch octopus. Oh can yeah, get, oh yeah. Can you get this? With, can you get this without beating launch octopus? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Like with some finagling with the uh, chill penguin weapon, maybe. It's possible, I suppose. I bet some sort of pro this speed runner could do it. This part's hard this when you don't really kill Otto because of the random rocks falling. Whoa, when the rocks don't fall when you kill Otto? Yeah, you see? There's nothing falling oh, I on I never you. realized that. You never realized oh. that? There you go. Another point for Mega Man X's genius oh. of altering stages. Well, you know, if I was ever going to go back to this game and try to beat the um, stages without taking damage, maybe I should fight Otto. No, you can't get to Otto without the dash boots. Yeah. Hard to beast, hard to beast okay. had to deal with it, so you got to deal with it. Actually. Yeah, well, I mean, if you it's if you if, if you actually do the thing. No, I feel like I can comfortably, instead of trying to record myself doing, because there's a point where that challenge gets asinine. This level, and then yeah. stage three. I realized that stage three was gonna entail me trying to beat, um, launch octopus, and, um, sting chameleon, and at the be the very first fight is armed armadillo. It takes forever. <laughs> so Jesus and Christ. the stage is like seven minutes long. So fuck that. Yeah. I ain't dealing with that. That, that I, I ain't having that shit. Yeah. It's a. You know I never got Mr. Perfect to Mega Man Nine. Just cause that's that seems a bit like I could save scum my way through the eight robot master show one, but you have to do the entire Wily Tower in one shot, absolutely perfect, including refights, and it's like, no. Uh. Ooh. This fight's trip. This fight can't be trivial if you. Um, yeah, you can get him in a loop. Pretty easy. I'm I'm gonna try to whittle him down to about a quarter health, and then I'm just gonna Buster Duel, like one more hit. I well, think. I got to the point where I could beat him consist beat him consistently with a Buster, but taking damage. Taking damage exactly. I think what I'm gonna do maybe just for some closure, I'll post a video of me beating all the bosses in this game without taking damage, because that I can do eat just easily. Um, and it'll be just nice. And I don't think I see a video on the internet of people doing that besides kind of beasts. Yeah, there you go. Who again is a machine? Well, there might there's there's some other guy I think who does like perfect team Mega Man runs. I I I'm blanking on his name right now. Gotcha. 
But I, I think there's one more other guy that he does that. Oh, uh, God. No, it's not, it's not Clement, the Let's Player. It's some other My family player. and I, my family, um, for, like, my birthday or something, my mom got the video camera and was recording me playing Mega Man X1. Oh, my And God. got all the way to this stage. Oh, no. So it was my first Let's Play. I, <laughs> I've, searched, I've searched high and low for the... Um, VHS. Oh man! I know, Karazu. right? Wouldn't that have been? Oh, Karazu! I really, I really, de- I, I get really happy whenever Karazu makes a new video. He hasn't done anything in a while. I, I should, I should poke him about stuff. Oh, you got all eight stages, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Now I get to uh, gather up some stuff. Okay, so let's let's see if I can't remember what I'm missing here. Okay, so we're missing yeah. Chill Penguin's Heart Tank. We got the. Uh, Wait, let me do what? it. Let me do it. I okay, can think go, of it. go ahead. Go Chill ahead. Penguin's heart tank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're missing. Chill Penguin's heart tank. You're missing the Buster shot in Mammon Machines level. You, although you don't. Mammon Machines, Machines level. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're missing. Um, the heart tank in Boomer Kewanger. You're missing. The, nothing in Sting Chameleon's level. Uh-huh. You're missing the sub tank at the very beginning of. Um, Spark Mandrel's level. You're missing the capsule in um, Storm Eagle's level, and you're missing nothing except the head oaken in um, Armored Armadillo and Long Octopus's level. You miss it. You you forgot the uh, the the, uh, the, the you forgot the helmet in Storm Eagle. So we're gonna go Storm Eagle first. Because I'll get the, both of no, those. I said, I said the helmet. I, th- I thought you I said the helmet. I didn't think I didn't think you said the helmet, but if you say you did, I, be- I, I believe you. I believe you, John. I did the um, I did this stage <laughs> as my first as my first SNES um, cover in Family Tracker. Oh, nice. And Polly and, and Polly, po- and, Polly, really muggy, and Polly, I can like, I can get you Mr. Carrazzo's like contact details if you actually want to get him on on the thing. Like I got, I got his Skype. I can ask him about it if you totally want him on. What's the fastest one hundred percent route for this game? Uh, jeez, I don't know. I don't know the time Chill offhand. Penguin. Yeah, Chill Penguin. No, not not um time. Well, what's the fastest stage cover? Polly says John's cover was really good. Yay! Yay! I, I, I would, nice. I would, I would do things in Famitracker, but I don't know a goddamn thing about composing music. So neither do I. How did you? Well, how the I hell? Did... Only experience with making any music. Well, how the hell did you do it then? Well, I found some sheet music online, and I worked from that. Um, I don't know how to read sheet music. To the so channels. there. Oh, okay. Well, I did take seven years of band, and I was in an orchestra for five years, and I got multiple awards for being one of the best of, in the state. You son of and I took, <laughs> and I took a college music class college AP music theory class and I took um, classes on music appreciation in college but aside from that I don't know anything about com- composition because I never actually have <laughs> tried to compose original music for more than a couple hours every now and then oh I don't I know how to the... compose music it's, uh, Oh, I, but I took like seven years of band practice and five years of college stuff and I... well you don't compose music when you're presenting when you're playing music you're playing music when you're playing music See, that... So I don't know much about composing music. Well, you know how to read music, and that helps yes. when you're composing stuff that already exists, because you can check the okay. sheet music, I guess. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty fair. Yeah. Polly does, Polly does the um, Family Tracker covers by ear because she likes the inconsistencies and liberties. Um, oh, that's yes. very fair. Oh, I yes. really love the Sonic and Knuckles cover we both did together. I don't even know why they would do a Famitracker cover of underrated bullshit from video games that nobody but me likes. I didn't know you could dash jump off walls when I played this game for the first time. Oh, Jesus. So I I shot a charged up um, shotgun ice through the pillar to the left and then jumped back on it and and then dashed off of that as it fell. That's amazing. So I, get, like, I should get, I should get the extra life up here because I'm gonna need to throw myself off a cliff five times. You'll teach me how to use Famitracker. It's gonna it's 
It's going to take a while, because I don't have any musical training at all. <laughs> well, if you take band practice, if you join a band for seven years, join an orchestra for five. Yeah. What was it six? It was many. It was many years, man. I was really good at bassoon. <laughs> bassoon. I abandoned that going into college. All right. What, can, what else can I get? I guess I'll get Chill Penguins Swing Tank. Oh well, you're a musician, but you can't read music. <laughs> well, 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 shit. And I guess it, you don't. I guess reading music doesn't help for Famitrack, right? I don't, just, you do everything by feel. Okay. He's a studio drummer. Made it this far. Okay. Hell yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. If I if I ever played a musical instrument, I'd probably uh play the the uh, the bass. Mm -hmm. All the PCB no, remixes. I didn't, mean, I, didn't, I didn't mean to do a there. I was just thinking about all my own choices when I registered, signed up for band. I picked. I, we were given her four choices in order from descending order. So I said bassoon, oboe, French horn, flute. Oh my god. I, so I picked the three weirdest instruments first. Shamison. Okay, so you need to come back to this level. You either need to revisit Flame Mammoth or this level, no matter what. Right? Uh, oh my god. Oh! No, you know, Damn it! I feel. I, d I died. You I got. I died, John. John, you got to trash oh, your saga shit. game. Yeah. All right. I already said a bunch of bad things about Saga One and Two. Um. I guess I can try to figure out more bad things. Oh my God, that was the dumbest death, too. I know it was really okay. dumb. Okay. Saga. Two. Okay. I said before that the um subplot with the dad didn't really resonate with me. It kind of made the whole game feel slight at the end. Like, what, this is all about a weird Indiana Jones dad thing? It didn't make sense emotionally to me. Especially after the resonance of the, um, going down into the planet to fight the machine at the core of the Earth with God. <laughs> oh um, my god. You know what's something bad I can say about Saga 1? What? Uh, the uh, second world didn't really resonate much with me at all. Like, first world. Uh, it wasn't a lot. That yeah. one was there. It's kind of it a it's kind of a lull. The water world. Yeah. Like the third world the has third, this really third interesting. Okay. The third world has this really interesting rebellion bullshit, and then the fourth is just, yeah. holy shit. Yeah, the fourth was like, oh wow, this whoa. This well, now 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 we're that. praising Saga. We didn't say anything about not praising Saga. If I live, the second world is a lull. Yeah. I mean, just the entirety of Saga 1 feels clunky and weird, and none of the dialogue really fits. But those are just so good. Shit! Okay, okay. We, should, we should probably stop talking about Saga before Polly leaves. Okay. <laughs> Out my butt. Oh. Butt problems? Uh, my... No, just I was leaning on my chair weird. Okay. Um, at, 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 when I when I was at my my sister's for my mom's birthday today, we were talking about one of my nieces has a has to eat gluten free shit, and my sister was talking about how she ate a gluten free hot dog with a gluten free bun, and it was the worst. Uh huh. Can can you confirm? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You uh, should you should go into Glitch World. What? You know how to. You know how to go into Glitch World here? I don't know how to go into Glitch World. Do tell. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back up? Left. Left and up. Left and up. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, my God. You you haven't seen this? No. Okay. What do I do? Do I just go? Just go back? Go all the way back left. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. You remember you're on a slight delay for me video-wise. but. Okay. Just go all the way back to the start of the level. That's, that's all right. You see the, you see the shit that... um. The tubes that are depositing the enemies, mm -hmm. jump up in there. Just how, how do you get up in there? Jump on top. Wait for it to drop an orange guy, which are the heads of the mini boss in in Launch Octopus's level, and Is then jump up and climb up. Okay, I gotta get to one that's up by the wall, I guess. 
No, no, you're fine. Just um, <laughs> just get to one that is. Yeah, any of them will do. Any of them do? I'm, I... Oh, maybe. All right, find the find the highest. One. Okay, so it's like there's a bit of a. Yeah, it's not. Saga is about romance. GTA. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, where's the high one? Okay, that, that these are pretty. These look pretty good. I'm just yeah, gonna wait for one to. I've never heard of this glitch before. What? This is this blew my mind as a kid. I I don't. Can you even climb? It's just it's just a, it's just a, it's just, a, it's, just a, it's just an empty tube. You can't climb anything here. Climb up the right. Go to the probably farthest. All right, this is. You can get up there. I promise. Like, I'm, I'm... Be, if I was Polly, this would be me fucking with you, and I would be just completely shitting you. But I'm, I'm telling the truth. It's Maybe like... it's a specific one. No. Oh. Like I'm just going through. There's no climbing oh. I can do. Is he? I wonder. Is he really? Maybe it's maybe. <laughs> maybe it doesn't work after you beat Play Mammoth. Maybe. Oh. And maybe it doesn't work after you kill Pink One. You know what? I bet that's probably it. it this is a different stage. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> because everything's different now. I bet it doesn't work because you always you beat Chill Penguin first, like a weirdo. Remind me. Remind me to uh, go back in the <laughs> so long world record pace. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, we're getting. Yeah, let's. There. We can restart the game when we're done and just get to this level. Yeah. Sound good? Sounds now, good for now, me. go get your capsule upgrade. Yep. There we go. I'm getting it. Even though we're gonna There's get someone one. else in the chat has see, seen what I'm talking about, right? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not just <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> pulling a muse under the truck thing here. You under the truck. I I actually went for that. I honestly, God, went for you under the truck, and it was bullshit. But yeah. oh, there is a truck. You want you want to try you want a Pokemon memory from me that's amazing. You, you remember when you first found out the missing no trick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. So Kawanger. Yeah. Anyway, I remember. I was I was sitting in class. I I know about the missing no trick. I know that they can duplicate items. I'm just sitting here in class, and all of a sudden, a light goes off in my head, and I realize, I can duplicate rare candies and make all of my Pokemon level 100. Oh my god. <laughs> I am the destroyer of worlds. Isn't that just amazing? I realized... Mm -hmm. I was reading a lot about the Mew trick and what causes it and how you can actually use the trick that lets you capture Mew. Oh, you that, can use oh, it to capture oh, any of the Pokemon. Oh, yeah, Pokemon. that trick. Yeah, that remember. Okay, that, that, the uh, one that came and out a few years ago. And then I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. And I, I figured it all out, and I realized that I could hypothetically capture all 151 Pokemon using that trick. Wasn't there, an um, S wasn't there an SDA run of Pokemon? Yes. And then I got, and then I watched games done quick, and they had not only done that, but they figured out the fastest possible way to do it. Oh so yeah. So I felt. Uh, yeah, I, I never actually watched that run because it was like at two in the morning for me. So. Yeah. I slept. So, now, so I figured that out, and then games done quick had it figured out anyway, because they think yeah. about those games a lot. Yes. That's... I'm playing Pokemon Crystal now. I never played Crystal. For the first time. I never actually played well, Crystal. I, I played, I played I had, gold as yeah. a kid. I mean, I'm, I'm, I had I'm gold. The Gen two period. What you never played I, Gen two period? I played it up to the seventh badge as a kid, like okay. ten or twelve years ago. Um, but I never properly beat Kanto and beat the whole game. I've done um, it. It's it's good. And it has yeah. and it's and it still it's has your Pokemon. and it still has your favorite moment with the uh, red. Yeah. I've only known about that from watching Anna Beat It and watching it on YouTube. Oh my god. So I'm finally going to get to experience what may be my favorite, of the, at least my favorite story of the bunch. Gold is really good. It has something like that. Gold's really fucking good. And I just love the aesthetic of the 8-bit games. Here's how you do an elevator section, huh? It's fast-paced. Enemies are coming at you the whole time, and it's short. Yep. Remember the elevator level in Mega Man X8? Remember the elevator I never level played I never played X8. Remember the elevator level in literally any other Mega Man game? How they're always long and boring? Yep. 
Yeah, I never played X8. I, I, I still have to beat X6. No, you don't. Well, I do because Zella sent me X7, and I need to do that. And before I do that, I need to beat X6. No, you don't have to do either of those. And you know <laughs> what? You don't have to beat X8 either. Either It's just kind of okay. Well, I, Everyone's I... like, ooh, it's a hidden gem because it's not as bad as X6 and X7, but it's just kind of okay. What? Wait, what am I doing here? I, I, okay, I'm just going to try to... Yeah, it's okay. Just drop it like just drop it where Inafune did. Drop it with um X five. That's 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 pretty much a good place to drop it. X five. Yeah. X five had its problems. Oh yeah. It, Actually honestly none of them are really very I, good except I really I really two. bitched a lot about X five and its inconsistencies with Alia. You were, you did you read this I posted? I forget. Yeah, I think I did. It's like every it's, it's like every two seconds Alia stops the game to tell you some inane bullshit that you already know. And then in the one yeah, level obviously. and then in the one level where it would help to actually know thing the thing in a Squid Adler, that's when you're just all of a sudden thrust into this turbo tunnel section and the game will kill you if you do nothing even before the ready thing d disappears off screen. She doesn't say a peep. And then when you finally uh, memorize the shit out of that section and do it completely and utterly and, and pass it and get to the actual walking part, then she pipes yep. up and talks to you. I think it's to your right there. You skipped yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Yeah, I just, um, I just had to get the right shot here. Okay, I think I have everything cool. now. You to, uh, yeah. Um, well, yeah, are you missing anything? Check your, check your, uh... Oh, got, wow, that was fast. I got everything in Launch Octopus, got everything in Chill Penguin, got yeah. everything in Flame Mammoth, got everything in Boomer Gwanger. Everything you want to get the Hadoken? Yep, yeah, let's get the Hadoken. Why the hell not? Let's, let's get the Hadoken. Sure. Do you have, do you need to oh, have no, full, do you, you need have to, to play through... I have to play through what? You need full health. You need full health when you get there the fourth Do time. you need full sub-tank energy, though? No. No? You did in the PC version, if you want some weird, um... You did it in the PC version and maybe Maverick X. Okay. Um, but in those games, you only have to get, actually get there once. No, in Maverick X, you have to get through the whole stage without taking damage. I, I, I really like Maverick Hunter X. Yeah, and and Mega Man Powered Up while we're at it. I like Powered Up even more. Powered Up is cute. and it, it, It's Mega Man 1, but cute. I love it. Yeah, exactly. I think I only beat those two games once because I had to borrow a friend's PSP to play them. But they're good. Yeah. I have a copy of Powered Up, but I had to uh, pirate Maverick Hunter X. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I, I'll probably figure out PSP emulation at some point. Um, like, th 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 this, was, this was only a few years ago, so it's not like they lost, Capcom lost money and is never going to make Maverick Hunter X 2 because of me. No, I forgot. It was already, everything already was done by then. What am, I, what am I missing on the PSP? Oh, yeah, Ghost and Goblin's Kai. Well, Ghouls and Ghosts Kai. Well, you're gonna have to. You're probably gonna have to uh, pirate that. Pirate that anyway because it's not available in the states. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I I do have a copy of Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins, the uh, original. Cool. But guess what? What else is good on the? What else is even good on the PSP? All I've beaten are the two Mega Man games. I can I can I, I can I can name some things, but uh, but there's one thing I just wanted to mention. You know what else is great about Ultimate Goku Magamura Kai? It includes yeah. Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins, the uh, one we got on it as well. <laughs> so you can play either version. That sounds like the Legacy of Darkness thing, where it's just like, oh, here's the game you should have had to begin with. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Crisis right, Core. Careful here. Sh sure, you know, I, I still haven't beaten that, Rizu, and you and you bought it for me and everything. But Is I that played. Andre? Ritsu? What? No, not no, 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 no. Oh. Rizu, not Rizu. Okay. Not that's not. On oh, yet. okay. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if it was someone I knew. Yeah, it's not. It's not her. <laughs> no problem. Hi. Um, what else? Crisis Core, I'm sure is okay. Um, it's it's pretty good. I like it. It's like it's the best Final yeah. Fantasy VII spinoff. Yeah, for just none of those really trip a trigger. You know. So do you need to like yeah, a... you have to oh you fuck, you fucked it up you fucked it up I I was wondering that how did I fuck <laughs> it up All right what's your what's your, what's your total number of lives five I got enough for this but how did I fuck it up just while we're getting back there All right you have to actually get up to the top area you know 
Okay. Every yeah, time? I think so, but yeah. All right, well, we'll get up there and do that. Okay. You can get, you can beat these things really fast with the fire thing or the um, storm tornado. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I, I'll do that later, I think. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Giant charge shot of death and then... God, the power-ups in X3 really do suck, though, don't they? Oh, X3. I hate X3 so much. That was the third review I ever wrote for the site was how much I didn't like X3. Oh, uh, well, you're right not to like it. Just because... Oh, it's Pancho right, Smith! Grab the capsule. Grab the ca capsule. Hi, Gra Pancho. Grab what cap... Right, what? And then jump, into your, jump to your death. Okay, you got to do that every time, or...? Yes. Yeah, it's a Pancho. He's watching us play Megamans. Okay, well, so I do that five more times, and then the Hanuki will shoot me there. Yep. Not to ever use the very it. Beginning, Not to ever use it. I think the okay. very beginning and the very end of Mega Man 2 are stronger than X's X, but I think everything in between makes up for it. True. Oh, well, yeah, he, like he Mega Man ending is so lovely, right? Oh, yeah, it's, it's great. The, 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 the seasons... It's kind of melancholy, I mean, too. One's, en one's ending is really nice, too. Oh, yeah. They're both kind of better. Th one's ending better is, is, is really triumphant and happy, too. It just sort of makes you bitter. It's a bittersweet sort makes of ending. Think. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. this is sad. And like it's like Banksy's really... Mega Man, Mega Man game. <laughs> Fucking goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> what if get, equ get equipped with... Actually bad. Get equipped with... Capitalism Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why did you just shoot that into... Oh, yeah, because you're playing it with a SNES controller equivalent. Yeah, I am. You're like, why didn't you just dash jump while holding the charge? Yeah, because I'm holding the thing, yeah. So, so. We are getting head <laughs> Remember that time Robot Life people took over the world? We don't, we don't want to remember that. Psh, Ruby Spears could Oh, as as I, 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 I really love the... E Did you ever see the episode where classic Mega Man crosses over Mega Man X? Mega Man X is such a jerk in that one. I know. He's so mean. Well, He's like a psychopath. It's the future, so edgy. It's just such a, to... such a random choice of Mavericks, too. It's like Vile and Spark Mandrel. Yep. Oh, my God. Storm Eagle and Launch and and uh, Chill Penguin were the only ones that got roles in the cartoon, right? In the PSP cartoon, right? Uh, is this maybe. the fourth time? Make sure you get there with full health. Yeah, I'm, I haven't been taking damage. There's still uh, there's still like what one more time I think or two more times. Yeah, because he like, died the first time. Because I messed, messed up, up the first, the first time. time. Yeah, so you fucked it up. That background is really lovely with the waterfalls. I was I was I was thinking that too. It's really nice. Ooh. That last jump is such a perfect climax to this level. It's just like ah, and, and it slows and the slowdown it sort of accentuates it because it just sort of feels mm -hmm. like almost bullet time, just because the slowdown of all yeah. these birdies. Yeah, I that, I was thinking about Rondo Blood, and I feel like this game really does for Mega Man what Rondo Blood oh, does. Oh, there it is! I did. I must yeah. not have fucked it up that that other time. Mm-hmm. There we go. Because it certainly isn't the Super Castlevania 4 of Mega Man, because it's not boring. Oh. Uh, you know, Super Castlevania, I once would call Super Castlevania 4 my favorite uh, of the ones, because it was like... Everyone has, Everyone says that Super Castlevania 4 is their favorite Castlevania. It's when they haven't played any other Castlevania games. <laughs> yeah, well, uh... It I... was my favorite Castlevania game. Back when I hadn't played any other Castlevania games. Well, now now you've played Bloodlines, and you're like, okay, Bloodlines is the best goddamn thing. No, I played <laughs> the original Castlevania, and I played Castlevania 3, and I played Rondo Blood, and I played Bloodlines. Ow. Okay. I All right, would rather time for Adventure Sigma. We're going, we're going to your favorite level in the game. Whoop! God, the music here is so perfect. Oh. It's so great. Oh, it's... Mm. Yeah, this is... This is the success. This is Wily One from Mega Man. Not not necessarily just the song, but the stage as a whole mm -hmm. really captures what that stage of Mega Man Two is going for even better. I think. Oh yeah. 
Because the dragon's great, but the whole thing with Vile and having your friend die... This, this stage is a masterpiece. Now, I think we're going to put on the rolling shield for this, because I have the power to do so. Mm -hmm. I'm not... I love the um, I love the bit with the um, where you, how there's all those little octo tanks, turtle tanks, right at the start. Mm -hmm. I say octo tank because when I look at them, um, uh, they look to me like turtle head, well, like octopus heads. Oh with yeah, little octopus eyes on the top. But Guess it turns you... out those are just the missile shooters, and then the bottom part <laughs> is what I thought was their like foot was their head. So oh, I've been wow. looking at them wrong all these years. Oh dear. That's uh You're bad at this. You're bad at these things here. I'm just I'm just taking my scared. time. I'm just taking my Which time. It's fair because really. they're really hard. I I'm, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all. That's fair. I guess I got enough time with these that I grew comfortable with them. Yeah, you you practice a lot. You're trying your uh, no hit buster only run or whatever. Oh, but I love this level. I love this level. And you are, but you also hate it. I, you, no, actually. <laughs> yeah, even after all that, you still love it. Oh, that's something. God, it's just, how you squeeze in through the corner of this fortress that's totally cramped with, more cramped with enemies than any other part in the game up till now. Yeah. Come on. Part up ahead with just the this little part that you probably went past a little while ago is the um, with the circle heads on um, legs mm -hmm. and the ladders is like the only bit in the whole level that isn't in some way kind of demanding. So yeah. That part's just completely trivial. All right, vile. Maybe maybe I'll give a little go with the Buster just to see. Do you get to, do you got to start the whole thing over if you die like right back to the start? Well, you have four times as much health as I have and the boots. Yeah, that's so, true. You don't have yeah. to start the whole stage over. You come, you teleport into this little thing. Oh, good. So I don't really, the, so I don't lose anything for trying. I also love how the red background starts eking its way into this level bit by bit, and then the level you fight Vile on is purple. But then by the end of it, it completely fades away in time for the fight with Bow Spider. Also, I think you knock back Vile a little bit with the Buster. He's weak. Yeah, yeah you do. this is rolling shield. That's I, I remember that much. I'm gonna try the but I'm gonna uh, try the Buster Duel for kicks just to see if I can. He's weakest to shield, like we don't know that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> okay, okay, John, you're not you don't need the nineties anime me. All right, and then this self sacrifice. Zero's got some good, Zero's got some good sprite work here. Yes. Kyle doesn't have boss status. Fucking useless ass <laughs> vile. <laughs> Maybe. But... Now let's see. Oh, I know he's got the the grenades and he does the jump and he does like a fi a spread shot. Is that right? It's perfect. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, yeah, okay, he shoots like two mines. Yeah, this is the kind of spirit that I think the really good Dark Souls fights channel. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, I, I, I can definitely see what you mean. Oh, yeah, you're, you'll do fine on this guy. This is a, this is a, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun fight, though. Buster on me. No walls it completely transforms how you approach the fight. Because you can't do your dash jump, you know? Bam! There we go. That's, that's a really good fight. I don't think I've ever actually really tried him, Buster only, but that is a really fun mm -hmm. fight. Yeah, they give you a lot of... Mega Man has always been about providing you interesting, fair challenges and then giving you ways around those challenges that you can um, fall back to if necessary. Mm-hmm. Which is very fair, I think. Yeah. And Zero's dead. Like the, uh, Rip in peace. Yep. Rip in peace. 
Okay, this is yeah, this is a difficult section right here. I'm just sort of triggering all the lasers. Even the <laughs> even the even Turn the. Like, charge up, charge up sting. You're supposed to. This is the part yep. of the game where they let you play around with your new power up. So yeah. Power up, charge up, chameleon sting. You're golden. Do it without all the tanks and armor. <laughs> Scrub. I've done. I've do I think I have done a kind of minimalist run of this. Yeah. I did a minimalist run too. I don't think there's any part of it that really gave me trouble except for Sigma. That fight's fucking tough without any weapons because it's just so long. And all right. Yeah. Fuck. And yeah. The hell we're doing this. With no power. I'm just, I'm going to kneel and sting. Oh, you're trying to, like, imitate the thing I had to do. Yeah. Oh, was... yeah, because the respawn... The res it, they got, they've got some Ninja Gaiden respawn shit going on here. They sure Where, do. Um, the, the charge shot, the pink charge shot, hits above you. And that is a savior in this section. Yeah, that's pretty much the only way Maybe you can actually do... It. That's pretty much the only way you can do it, is abusing the hitbox of the maximum charge shot. Yep. It's not abuse. It's not abusing. Well, okay. it's 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 explo Oh my god, there's so many enemies on the screen at once. It's great. I love it. It's cool. And then Boomer Coin comes back. Surprise. Mm -hmm. I think this is even more yeah. of, of a I'd surprise. Like Mega Man. You you want to know what I just realized? Something amazing. In Mega Man 1, what? You go into Wily 2 and all of a sudden Cutman shows up and he starts throwing his rolling cutter at you. In Mega Man X, you beat Vile, yep. you go through the thing, Boomer Pointer <laughs> shows up, and all of a sudden he throws a cutter weapon at you. <laughs> Isn't right. that... That's, that's, I just realized that right now. That's amazing. But it's even more effective here, because, like, you, you went through hell and a half. You went through, you went through the climb, you went through Vile, you went through the, the climb from hell, and now all of a sudden here comes another boss. It's like, when will it end? And it, it, it's not even over yet, because we still have Bow Spider. And Bow Spider's tough. Bow Spider's real tough. Really tough. It's a hard level. It's a very demanding level, and it comes at a point in the story where it's meant to be very demanding. I'm not gonna. Because well, now that Zero's gone, it's not pulling any punches. <laughs> you have to do this all by yourself. Now I'm remembering it's the. Making you feel that. Now I'm remembering the old Retsu Prey where someone took like three entire 10 minute videos unedited to beat Bow Spider and at one point took a phone call or whatever in the middle of the video. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's, oh it's, god. it was a thing. Whoa, holy, what the Shock and ice. What, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Well, Hold on, just a second. I, I have to, I have to see something here. Holy shit. If you wall climb while bow spiders coming down, it shoots spiders. I never knew that. <laughs> did you know that? Yeah, did I actually? I don't think so. I think I always just was like, read the. All right, I'll read the fucking. Back yeah. Back. Holy I'll shit. Do it at one point. That's amazing. That's so cool. It's like twenty odd years later, we're still smart. discovering new shit. So you can't just cheese it. Uh huh. Fucking incredible. No, there's no way. Besides the Hadoken. And even then, you kind of had to... It's very hard to land the Hadoken in every oh, yeah. fight. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I beat this game without finding all the power-ups, too. I um didn't have the body armor or most of the heart tanks, or half the heart tanks, and only two sub-tanks the first time I beat it. It was very satisfying. Damn. Most, I, th I wager a lot of people are going to do that the first time they beat this game, so... I'm I'm, I'm kind of bad at reading. Like kind of... Yeah, I'm kind of bad at reading Bow Spider too, so it's a little tough for me. It's okay. I want to. I've been thinking about maybe um, including a copy of this fight in my machine game, seeing if I can work it in. Oh my god! Uh, how would that work if in a, in a machine Megaman. like though? Well, it would be a boss fight. It would be like a climactic boss fight, so the screen would finally like stop. Right. Or the boss would move with you or something. Man, that's amazing. It's like, I never exactly. knew Bow Spider would do that if you climb the walls. Holy shit. I was just hanging on, I was just hanging on the wall and he shoots a spider. I'm like, wait, I, I've never seen that before. Yeah. Polly said she has trouble with this fight. I have trouble with this fight, too, as you just saw, because, like, I...
yeah. I, I have a tough time. There's I have a, t- I have a like... tough time reading the webs. And knowing how, uh-huh. how the thing moves, and you have a, a and you have a short no, window no, to memorize it. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Some some people are just huge wins, <laughs> and other people are cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This stage is good. All right, things kind of chill out in this level a little bit in relation to the last one. Yeah. But then it gets really intense in the third level and the fourth level again. I almost wonder if the game would work better without this, le- this level. But nah. Maybe spacing out if it helps. I like this level because it also it also, the... it also escalates the bosses coming back too. Because right up here now, Chill Penguin comes yeah, back and Storm true. Eagle. But they're yeah. two. They're, they're two of the lesser bosses, so to speak. God, okay. I'm getting hit by these bats too much. I'm gonna throw on the chameleon sting. Uh huh. Just. Uh, that's a really good question. How would this game feel if you just excise this level and it progressed straight to the really tough third level? I uh, no, there'd be I, no. There'd be no. This is like a combo just, for there'd the be storm. no reprieve at all. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that it's it's interesting to think of like the the, the bleakness, but you also do need mm. this sort of like interesting little reprieve. And Maybe. I mean, and I mean, Rangabanga is pretty much it. A... Dragon Quarter doesn't need any reprieves. And she... Dragon Quarter gets to the end, and it goes for two and a half hours without oh, cutting tra- any break whatsoever. Man, Dragon Quarter. I need, I need to get back to that someday. Then you die, and then you have to redo all of it because you ran out of save counters three hours before the end of the game. What an interesting mm. idea. It's like a fucking... A, rogue, a, a nine hour long roguelike with progression. Oh, that's, how, nice. that's how you have to think of Dragon Quarter, basically. I yeah, think. Or some kind of like Prince of Persia. Oh man. You know, Prince of Persia, Dead Rising. Oh yeah. Red, even Resident Evil. Prince of Persia. There's a whole dedicated genre of that shit. I love it. I love it. Kind of Majora's Mask, but it doesn't commit really up from <laughs> the mechanical side as much. It commits thematically. Yeah. Oh, Majora's Mask is gorgeous. It really oh, is. Oh, I love video games. I can't Same. believe I played Dragon Quarter, then almost immediately afterwards played Majora's Mask. That was a really... Yesterday, last year was really good for me. Excuse me. Me and video games. And then I played Saga 1 and 2 not long after. <laughs> Saga, Saga, I'm still... That's still my fault. It's, it's basically just I saw Jeremy Parrish play it on Game Boy World, and I'm like, Hey, that sounds like fun. We should play that. And it's mm-hmm. like, oops, this is really good. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yes. I, I know I follow a couple saga saga ladies on Twitter now, um, oh, and cool. the one I talked to uh, specifically said, "Yeah, I thought about playing Roman- I tried playing Romantic Saga One, but it's really bad, so I'm not gonna play it anymore." And I, so I felt kind of vindicated because oh, this is like a lady who like got in something ridiculous, like the New York Times or something, talking about Romantic Saga Three for a paragraph. Holy shit! How she shit. like two thousand hours of Romantic Saga Three. Oh and my she God. was like, eh, Romantic Saga 1's not very good. <laughs> so, well, well, you know what other Saga... I feel like I can skip that one. Yeah, you know what Saga game I own. Yeah. The only Saga game I own, John. Unlimited Saga. Unlimited Saga. Uh, someday. And I'm bef- really excited for Frontier. I think that one oh, might be my favorite. Oh, Jetstorm is over the moon about Frontier. So. Yeah, all the all the romantic saga people I know are over the moon about um, Frontier and the PS2 Minstrel Song game. So so basically, and maybe Romantic Saga three. Yeah, so basically the progression goes, I guess, Saga one and two, Transcendent Brilliance, Saga three doesn't count, trash, <laughs> Romancing Sagas yeah. not that good, Frontier one and romancing two. Sagas, romancing Saga is less playable than Saga three, but it has a lot more like soul to it. Yeah. You can tell it's trying to do something amazing and then failing utterly. Yeah. Then we got a Saga Man Taylor's X. Here. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Taylor doesn't like Mega Man Legends. Taylor yeah, doesn't like Mega Man Legends. I, I, have, I have no strong opinions of Mega Man Legends one way or the other. But hello, Taylor. You Glad you could come. Once you play it, you'll realize that it's perfect and beautiful. And like the ideal combination of 
castle in the sky and Pokemon into a perfect, lovely world of beautiful, amazing soul and brilliance. Confession, I've never seen Castle in the Sky. I should do that someday, shouldn't I? Castle in the Sky is also a perfect, amazing combination of soul and brilliance and beauty. I love that movie. I love that movie so much. The only Miyazaki oh. I've seen is uh, Princess Mononoke. I've seen... The only Miyazaki I haven't seen is none of them. There you go. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Oh. I, I, I was, I'm, all, I'm interested in Nausicaa, though, as well. It's okay. Six-year-old Taylor hates Megan and Legends. <laughs> I feel like, um... Yeah, we're talking not Miyazaki. Yeah, we talk Miyazaki. Most Miyazaki movies are great. Most Miyazaki movies are great. Honestly, the only ones I don't like are... Ponyo and... Honestly, maybe Nausicaa. Oh, man. Oh, um, really? Nausicaa's wonderful. Nausicaa is wonderful. Shush. Yeah, re um, I only watched Nausicaa once, and it just... Hey, we're on Sigma 3, John. It's Boss Rush Central. This is the most... Yeah. You know what's really cool, I think, about uh, Mega Man X? Is Mega Man 1 culminates in uh, four refights and then Wily. Yeah. Mega Man X not only has five refights in a row right here, it then throws then another boss at you, and then it just has a final area with Sigma, and there's Dedicated. three forms. Why am I Buster doing this guy when I have Sparks? Spirit of the Way is the perfect movie. I need to see that one if any of them. Spirit movie, Spirit of the Way is beautiful. Porco Rosso is beautiful. Um, probably my favorites are Kiki, oh. Princess Mononoke, Totoro, and Castle in the Sky. Yeah. The, I think the and ones no I'm most interested in are Nausicaa and Castle in the Sky. Cool. Oh, Kiki and Totoro are so just watchable. And I throw those on just yeah. all the time. Kiki and Totoro. Kiki Castle and Totoro, yeah. Kiki and Totoro. Castle in the Sky and, um, <laughs> and Princess Mononoke you have to be in more of a mood for. Kiki and Totoro Kiki seems and like a... Uh, they both seem like a total John and Anna movie, where I can just see you two on the couch, like, squeeing, like, ah, everything is adorable, I love life, and I love you. Yes. Is, is this accurate? Very accurate. <laughs> yes. It's I see. very accurate. I, I know you two so well. Satoshi Khan's work. Oh, I greatly prefer Satoshi Khan's work. I, I already, actually already knew that. I know she I o I've only it. seen um, one Satoshi Khan exactly. movie, and that's Perfect Blue. And that was that was on that was on. I a, <laughs> yeah, I I watched that on recommendation I, for, for from a friend, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I watched um, Paranoia Agent, Paprika, and then in one day on a camping trip, I watched Perfect Blue, Millennium Actress, and Tokyo Godfathers. I want to see Tokyo Godfathers. Mm. That sounds like a good one. It's an R-rated Disney movie. It's beautiful. Oh, oh my god. Well, per it's, as in, it's R-rated, but it's really, really, really nice. It's the nicest Satoshi Kon movie. Kon oh, yeah. movie. Kon movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Polly. Satoshi Kon. Satoshi Kon. Revolutionary girl Utena. Utena. Sorry. <laughs> Working on it. I'm proud. I'm, I'm, I know this in the Sox cast, Paul, like, we, you keep saying, Metroidvania. Oh, we're going to have to believe that. And Paul's just like, I don't care. I, I don't even care anymore. I started that oh. trend. I started that trend. Poncho, Poncho <laughs> um, said that he watched Totoro and got left with the feeling of that's it. Um, that's cool. But, I mean, Totoro is perfect and beautiful and amazing in every way. But, you know, that's cool. Yeah, Toto, to, I think Totoro is just perfect. I love that movie. Man, man start, Mandrill's not behaving tonight. He's just basically just a, staying on the ground oh, and yeah. doing leaps instead of... Yeah. Well, maybe you're just bad. Maybe. <laughs> ah, you're getting creamed. I really am. It's okay. He's almost, so he's almost, okay. yeah, <laughs> I, I, 
I beat him with the buster. I took a lot of damage, but I did it. Yeah, I, I did it better the first time, though. Okay. Why is my Skype beeping? Yeah, it just took a minute. I gotta check that. Yeah. Just to see what that is. It's probably Skype. Yeah. So, oh. Wow, well, I've seen every Miyazaki movie and every um, Satoshi Kon movie. Am I? Satoshi Kon is great. I, should, I need to rewatch those movies. I like Miyazaki more. Okay. There we go. Um, but they're not really comparable. So, whatever. Ouch, my butt. Ouch, now, my butt. I, now I don't have much health for a launchy octopus, so that's gonna be fun. Oh, but I can cut off his arms, so that's fine. Yay! That's always fun. That was <clears> one <throat> of those things that I always thought was really fun with, with Spark Man, with, um, mm -hmm. uh, with Flame Mammoth and Octopus. Because that's one of those things I didn't know about until, like, the internet? Six years after I'd already been playing. Yeah, internet. Internet talk. I found every upgrade without the internet, except for the head open, obviously. And that was very fun. Oh, man. Yeah, watch me in zombie movies, Fez. I should. I should. What, what was it I was thinking yes. was? Oh yeah, oh yeah, Eric John was telling me to watch Children of the Stones in, in October. It's just like 70s British children te children's television stuff about pagans. And it's like, a, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like this crazy, bull it's like this weird bullshit, like a children's horror serial thing. Uh, Phil, it's been past. Yeah, Phil Sandifer talked about it in one of his Doctor Who blog things when he got up to the 70s and was talking about BBC Children's Entertainment, and it sounded really good. I feel what? like Phil Sandifer and Eric John are just each other from alternate universes sometimes. <laughs> Eric John is Phil Sandifer if Phil Sandifer had more video game opinions, I think. Yes. Of course, Phil Sandifer oh. does have video game opinions. He's for the Super Nintendo project, oh, yeah. for God's sakes. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <clears throat> Which is, which is an interesting thing. Yeah. Well, finally, unf I did unfollow him on Twitter just because he's kind of sick of the engaging with kind of shitty people. Oh, you mean it's like trolling of the sad puppies? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. It's just... I'm, it, I, I, I think it's comedy gold listen, myself, I but, I, listen to it. but I understand why you wouldn't want to listen to that, so that's fine. Mm. Yeah. Cut off his nose! Cut off his nose! I cut the nose. Okay. Mm, that's I really stuff. wish that the storm tornado also blew out his fire. Holy shit. Oh no, alright. Are you gonna use this update or die? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm probably gonna take, take it, because I'd, I'd like the sub -tanks. I don't wish that... <laughs> I don't wish that the, um... Storm tornado would blow out his fire, because this fight is already one of the easiest ones. I guess. Mm. All right. Well, let's see if we can't do anything. Let's see if we can't do anything against D Rex with two health. Yeah, this stage, Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle took me no time at all to beat without the without taking damage or power ups. Um, Stor Chill Penguin took me like forty minutes, which was embarrassing. And then this stage took me less than an hour. Um, Spark Mandrill and Armored Armadillo I took a lot of time on, and then I gave up. <laughs> well. I thought I thought oh, that D shot I thought that shot came a lot faster than it did. That's fine. Now that's fine. That's a mulligan. Now I can use the now I can kinda use the cutter on him. <clears throat> D Rex is so good. It's it's okay fight. Yeah. It's okay. I mean it's sorta of like hey, like we talked about Dark Souls earlier with Spark Mandrel and Vile. This is sorta of like one of those big pattern y based Dark Souls fights like um the Gaping Dragon or Oh, I love the Gaping um, Dragon fight. That's one of Moonlight my favorite. Moonlight Butterfly. Mm, yeah. Moonlight Butterfly isn't like it's it's an okay fight, I guess. It's like an early it's like an early Mega Man battle, <laughs> Mega Man boss, yeah. like Flame Man. I guess you got a point yeah. there. Oh, those geez. those big those big bosses don't really play to Dark Souls' strengths, but I feel like they still capture something really nice and lovely. Um, that just very. Mega Man -y. Holy crap, he's just comboing me here with all this stuff. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
You're very amused. Wow, he just <laughs> shoots lots of stuff. Okay, he's done. The secret is not to get hit. Yeah, that's a good secret. I should try more of that. Nice, lovely Dark Souls, John Fire. Look, I, I beat Dark Souls twice this year, and I already have beaten it, like, last year. So... It's a really just nice game. I know. It's like, I don't understand. And, 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 and I'm so goddamn humble about it because I've beaten it three times, and yet I still insist I'm absolute trash at it. <laughs> I, I turned that game on, and I just was like, instantly, like, finally, this game just speaks my language. I feel instantly... I have, I have Dark Souls 2, and I haven't started it up yet because I'm really afraid I'm going to hate it because it sounds... Like everything I would hate about a game? Yeah. No, I'm not going to start it up. I don't think I can approach that game fairly. Yeah. I feel it's like, like... It's like... I think... It's like Joe was saying the best to me. Dark Souls 1 is this organic... Is, is, a, is, is a game made by people who wanted to make, like, a good, hard game. Dark Souls 2 is made oh. by people who looked at Dark Souls 1 and everyone's saying, Oh my god, it's the hardest game ever, and said, We need to make a super hard game! You know what I'm yeah, trying to say? That sounds obnoxious as hell. Yeah. I don't even think that with Dark Souls, I think they were just they had this particular vision that they had. They had this world they wanted to create. They knew who, how they want what kind of relationship they wanted you to create with that to create that world. And then they made it and it had it to be kind of hard. Yep. <laughs> the difficulty feels almost incidental to the thematic connection you have with it. It's which a is the same with Ghouls game. and Ghosts for that, which is the same with Ghouls and Ghosts, actually. And Castlevania. Yeah. That's good. I guess. But, well, the thing with Ghouls and Ghosts is that a lot of what makes that game hard yeah. is uh, the random nature of shit. Like, you're just going on all of a sudden, this randomly spawning set of enemies is just comes in right from yeah. under you just as you're in the middle of a committed jump and you die. It's I very, ar it's very arcadey in that respect. I never what? felt that that was unfair in Ghouls and Ghosts, and I consider that one of its um, best attributes because really? it makes every stage feel extremely kinetic. When I guess you when you can't memorize exactly how to get through the level, and I really appreciated that about it. I I, I get in a way, that. I think that's yeah. something it has over Castlevania. I get that. I get that. I do. I I just like I just like committing the games and memorizing. It's, like, it's there, obviously, because arcade mentality. Get your quarters. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. But I, I like your reading of it. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. I, I, I mean, like it, this because I don't ever get to talk ghouls and ghosts with anyone, like, intellectually. <laughs> because nobody I know can... Is, everyone else I know is like, ghouls and ghosts? Pff, fuck that game. Who, who play that? You're fucking... No, I, I played the Genesis you're, game and it's like... You're, you're, God, yeah. you're a goddamn lunatic for playing it, Fresno. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the difficulty didn't even feel particularly notable about it, honestly. Maybe I'm just a machine at this point, but... It didn't feel like, oh, this is a particularly hard game. It was just, oh, this is a really good, engaging platformer. Mm. Oh. And I, I remember feeling differently playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts for a while. Yeah, 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 don't worry, yeah. I think Ghouls is one of the last ones I came to, and I was like, wow. I guess I was used to it by then. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just really chewed through that game in like a day. It's, it's good, it's good. I like that it's also short, it's nice and compact, because uh, Super, yeah, is, is, Super Ghouls is seven stages, so it's a little mm. too long in the tooth. And then, and then, and then Ghosts and Goblins is only six, but each of, them are, each of them are only two minutes long. But then the game is mm. also hard as ever Logan Fox says, so like it's going to take you ages to be there. Gotcha. Sorry if I keep talking over you, by the way. I just it's okay. Excited. It's okay. We're, we're, <laughs> I, love, I love this. This is intellectual stimulating conversation. But, and we're, go we're going to get a lot of this when we, uh, when we do the... Uh, what, what, I don't even know what we're going to call the name of it. The one G&G &G hasn't beaten. But I have beaten them all, Pancho. What, what are you talking about? The iPhone games? The one for Wonderswan? I've, I've beaten it, and, but I haven't played it on video. That's something to that's something to do. I've actually been going back and practicing it a little. Oh my god, this fight is so meticulous. Ah, yep, we're gonna pop a sub tank. But it's not bad. It's, oh wow. <laughs> okay, that only gave me half my health back. I forgot about that. Oh, it's it's doing the emulator buggy thing. Yeah. 
Because they're supposed to give you all your health back, aren't they? But on like an emulator, they don't do that. So that's going to be tricky. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I... wow. That's that's an annoying trick, huh? Okay. Well, no, it's not that annoying. It just means that the game's still hard. Nice and hard. Yep. And besides, it's, it's easy to charge it back up at the... Um... Oh, God damn it. Come on down. Yeah, that's... Honestly, that almost makes it... That's how Mega Man Zero handles it, too. Except that it only fills it up as much as you need it to. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it fills up, like, all the way if you do the thing. Mm -hmm. It just squashed you against the top. That's so mean. Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I gotta use another one. Jesus. Sage Christ. I'm gonna have to farm if this is... All right. Just don't, just don't die. It's easy. All the right. intro to this fight is so intimidating. As a kid, I um, took forever trying to beat the dog and Sigma 1 because I didn't even mm -hmm. have all the power-ups fighting these guys. And yeah. then I beat Sigma 1. I ran out of the room <laughs> saying, brother, brother. But then like, I ran back in just as his head started rising, playing the song, and then the thing in the background launches up. And it's so fucking cool, and it's so scary. <laughs> oh, man. Is there a better final boss in the X Games? Let me think here. Okay, we got Wolverine and the uh, wireframe head. That stupid Kaiser thing. Reaper Sigma and the big thing. And then I honestly can't even remember what X5 did. Wait, X5 oh yeah. X5 just has a big head. It's kind of yeah. Like, yeah. It's kind of lame. X4 is kind of cool. It's just so hard. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult, X4. Is... I do like the yeah. Reaper Sigma in X4, though. Oh, yeah. It's so scary. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, I, and for practical effect, I do like the wireframe head. Not because it's impressive mm -hmm. or anything, but it's just interesting. It's just he's transcending into yeah. this pure data form of corrupted virus mm. who's coming at you. I actually kind of honestly do kind of like X3's last gauntlet. And um, not that fond of that big thing. And the, Okay. I might, I might do X2 next time for one of these because... I don't yeah. know if I don't know if I'll go with X3 because I really no, I don't like X3. Game, I played both one and two in a row. Yeah. Yeah. I started X3 after beating one and two in a row on a stream, and then just quit after I got, got came over on Toxic Seahorse. Oh god. See, this is the one. This is the only part where uh, X1 kind of falters in exchange for in exchange for two, because two has this really poetic visual ending, and the next one has a really goofy closing monologue. Mm-hmm. You know. Imagine if there wasn't any text. Imagine if you just watched the thing go and then it rolled the credits. What would you think of it then? And then it just sort of beams out. It would be interesting, I think, if you didn't have the text. Yeah. Uh, it would be better, I think. Yeah. I yeah, agree. I think that would be better. And then it's just kind of cutting the credit. It's, it still probably would lack something in comparison to... Who has... Two has a better... Um, oh. I don't know, climax, I think. Man, I, I just looked at the chat again and, and saw Pancho talking about the Wonder Swan thing. I just remembered something really cool that the Wonder Swan game does that no yeah. other Ghosts and Goblins game does. I'm surprised that they don't. Okay. So you know how you got to beat these games twice, right? Halfway into Ghosts and Goblins Wonder Swan, there's a branching path where you can select one or two levels. And if you pick mm, one, you, if you pick one, you have to go do the other one on the second loop. So it's like it's actual mm, goddamn nice. it's actual goddamn variety of making you do the thing twice. Cool. It's really cool. neat. Like imagine a Ghosts and Goblins game like with what what's with a uh, what's the name of that schmuck? Darius with the Darius uh, level select. Darius. Mm. That's what I was thinking of. Just yeah. imagine something like that. Good shit. Good <laughs> like shit, you have a, you good have shit, a, good shit. Good shit, good shit. That's some good shit, right? The air. Todd, did you say something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just just imagine that. You you take the game, you have it ghosts and goblins, ghouls and ghost size levels, two or three minutes long, and then you just have a bunch of branching paths. And on the yeah. second loop, you can take other paths. Just it would be genius. Mm hmm. It would oh actually... man, sorry. I zoned out trying to figure out how I'd redo X and One's ending with the given materials. Um, <laughs> take it, take out the monologue. Have him watch it explode. Have him stand there for a while and then teleport out. Well, no, because then you'd lose the song. 
And okay. the song is so good. Oh, yeah. The song gives it, almost gives it some resonance. It's so lovely. And if you just cut straight from that to this credits roll, I think you're worse off than having the goofy monologue. How about, how about if you have, how about if you have the, uh, the silhouettes of the bosses song? Appear, yeah. How about this, this part with the silhouettes of the bosses transparent, appearing as the, as the little melancholy song plays? What would you think of that? Maybe, yeah. Something. Something going on in the credits roll. Something going on on the screen. It's not very dynamic if he just stands there, is it? Maybe the sun rises in the background. Maybe. Some ninja guy. Something kind of cheesy like that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he just walks to the right from that cliffside, and then we do the whole walk to the right as the sun rises from Mega Man 1. Okay. John, you want, to do me straight... fa- you want to do me a favor really yeah. quick? I need you to look me up sure. a password to get past the intro stage in Mega Man X so we can try Glitch World. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna suggest that I, I was gonna suggest that anyway. Because I don't want to do the intro stage Michael again. Man. <clears throat> so just, just get it up. And I'll give you can... the dash boots too. While I'm at it. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. So we can do that. Dash boots. Wham. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's say Chill Penguin. And, and me is Mega Man X. Right. That's great. I love that. <clears throat> love that. It's a nice little bit of agency, I suppose. Because it, it's really yeah. proactive when you realize that you were Mega Man X because it's like, the game is like saying, X, you've got quick potential and you're going to be the best. This is mm. Cheater, cheater. Hey, I beat the game. <laughs> I earned this, Polly. <clears throat> oh, but what are they going to play the nice, how are they going to play the nice song over, what are, they had that nice credit song, like, Okay. Get, there's, there's like three place. ending songs in this game. You're right. What the fuck? Okay, they can ex- they can exclude one of them. I don't even remember what song plays here during the actual credits. It's like do 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 like some loungy music stuff. Weird. I forget. I can't yeah. listen, hear it over there. Yeah, that's fine. I can't listen to myself over the stream and not zone out. I don't have a password up. No, nah, we're not we're not doing X2 tonight. But I will do I probably will do X2 on another one of these streams. Cool. I'll do it in. Oh, yeah, I can't you, do it on Sunday. Yeah, you can't do I it. I have on Sunday. three engagements mm-hmm. over the weekend. I told oh Polly I'd be there for the stream. I thought for some I thought that I was mixing up up the next yeah. stuff. It was on Saturday and it wasn't, so that was good. Oh, um, and we oh. can actually watch the Chrono Trigger stream while we're camping. We had okay. the podcast on Friday, and then I told you, you I'd do this on Sunday. So I had three different people <laughs> I had lied to because I'd forgotten about this. <laughs> John, and I te- had to figure it all out. John, are and you telling lies? John, are you telling lies? That's that, the first time we mentioned the universe yeah. on this whole stream. Yeah, this is the same for me. I, I mentioned it in Ninja Guy, but it is my favorite Pearl line in the series. Just the way she delivers that line. <laughs> so <laughs> concerned. <guys. laughs> Alright, I'm just waiting for the... Uh, there it is. I love what you part. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great little teaser. Because you have to wait on this silly screen for so long. I love this video game. It's so good. It was a really good video game. And now we're going to try to enter Glitch World, so do you have the password for me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay. Hit me with it. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Alright, seven, eight, six, four on the top row. Seven, eight, Let six... Let me know when you're done. Seven, eight, six, four. Done. Alright. One, four, one, eight. Okay, done. Three, seven, four, eight. Oh shit! No, that's wrong. That's totally wrong. Okay, I which? W- up. I okay, I up. didn't. I didn't hit the button yet. All right. Start, start at the beginning. One okay. seven six four. One seven six four. Done. One seven eight eight. One seven eight eight. Done. Eight seven four eight. Eight seven four eight. Is that good? You don't the, 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 it's amazing. Yep. Uh, all right. I gave so, you the chill so, penguin's heart tank instead of chill penguin's leg capsule. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And you remember what I told you to do? 
jump up on the thing and try to wall jump. Jump into the thing and try to wall jump, right? Yeah. I really wish I was just making this up because it would be really funny. Well, right? We, yeah. Just build up your anticipation all this time. <laughs> uh, uh. But no, I'm not that clever. Nah. I'm not Polly with her. Is there a particular one I can I can do it in, or should it, it should just, just be any of them? No, just do it probably farthest to the right. The farther to the right, the better. Farther to the right, the better. Okay. I'll try it on this one. Over here. Oops. Still, because you need to hop over the other. You need to hop over the openings, otherwise you just fall back down. Hop, what do you mean? Hop, hop? You don't hop into the pipe. You hop into the pipe and then walk on the ceiling. Okay, but you got a wall jump on the sides. The right. You got a wall jump inside. You climb up the walls on the side. Okay, now I understand. Top. Now I understand what you're trying to tell me to do, sorta. Of. So you just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, let me just see. Let's see here. Okay. Cause, oh, goddamn! The laser just came at me. Cause I'm not getting the height that I can do the thing with. Huh. I don't know. I don't know why you're so bad at it, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. I I, I don't know why I'm so bad at it either. I should have given me more hard tanks. Ugh. That's okay. Oh god, the lasers. Yeah, dodge those. They will kill you. They sure will. Oh my god, why isn't it working? I don't know. Maybe it's like why an you? maybe it's an emulator bullshit thing. Okay. That sucks. Let me let me load up ZSNES while we're doing while you're doing this shit, so I can do it. Yeah, okay. And make sure that I'm not shitting you. Make sure that... No, I've done it on ZSNES. I'm positive I've done it on ZSNES. Uh, you just... Keep trying. I'm keeping Keep on trying. trying. They patched it out last week. Man, don't joke, don't joke with me about that because, like, I, I got a story about patching bullshit that, they, that makes me upset. About tabletop RPG bullshit. Cause like I rolled up a character for this is, a thing. This may, this does say... hmm? I'm not I'm not wall jumping at all. I'm just inside the thing and it's all transparent. Right. My thing says revision one. Maybe they fix this. I could do it on my cartridge. Maybe it's a different wrong ROM. Here, I'm typing in the password. I'm gonna see if I can do this, and then if not, then I'll just leave you be. Yeah. But it's really fucking cool. So. If all this fails, I could bother to the trouble of hooking up the Wii and playing the virtual console version of this. That would definitely for sure work if it's yeah, in there. Alright, here we go. I'm loading it up. I have, I'm up to, um, okay. Flame Mammoth stage. Let's see if you can do it. Alright, I'm doing it. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking do it. You just watch me. Well, I can't watch you because I'm doing my own thing, but I'm listening to you do it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna fucking I don't, I don't, Oh, I love the music on this level. It's nice music, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try each one of these things. Okay. Uh, there we go. I did it. I did it easily, trivially. Okay. What did you do? I'm doing it. What did All you? Right, you just have to catch the corner of. All right. I did it on the very first pipe, for what it's worth. Okay. For All the... right. I jumped off the side and then jumped onto the wall. You I know. I jumped on. I. Yeah. All right. I'm on the first one. I'm doing it over and over again. Okay. You have to the... go to back to the very first pipe. Very first pipe. That's not the first pipe. Yeah. This is the first pipe now. Okay, maybe it is emulated. I'm gonna do it on every pipe, just to be sure. I think I know what it is, John. I think I think that this is the uh, PAL Mega Man X thing. Somehow. Oh, why are you playing the PAL version? Because that's what I had here, apparently, for some reason. Okay, do you wanna download? Do you do you wanna go all the way now? Fuck or it. Or are you gonna just? Fuck it. Send send me. I, I give me the link to the thing. I'll get it. And all right. We, and we will try this. 
USA rum. Let's yeah. do this shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this with the USA rum just to make absolutely sure. That's what it is because I'm I'm positive that that must okay. be what it is. It's either that or I'm ter- or I'm terrible. I don't know the trick. You're gonna and if it is, you're gonna have to make a video of you you doing it. So I know what to do. All okay. right. I'm willing to do that. All you right, Prez. Thank you. All right. How much? I'm gonna while you do that, I'm gonna load up the U Hal version and see if um yeah see if that is what messed it up. Let's just uh, obtain this really quick. Four new notifications. But it doesn't say 24, so I know Eric John has been talking about Sega Genesis. A bunch of new notifications. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not that's that's, that's that, wh- when I see more than ten notifi- more than five notifications, I know Eric John is saying things. That's my experience too. Generally, Aaron, Anna will hear my phone buzz a bunch, and they go, "Oh, it's Eric John! It's Eric John!" <laughs> that's incredible. It is okay. pretty funny, isn't it? Okay. Right, I'm loading up the European ROM, you weirdo, with a European ROM for some reason. Yeah. Not that we're emulating. We're okay. I'm okay. playing it. I'm I'm playing it on my Super Famicom. All right. Paste you in here. All right. I'm doing the same ass password. All Maybe right. The same ass game. Load. Or do I have to close out the emulator and get this going? No, I didn't. Because I already have the emulator thing going here. I'm really glad it works on emulator. Nope, that's and still the, that's I'll, still the power one. Okay, what? Two seconds, everyone. Did. Did. Okay, we're still back. All right. There it is. Mega Man X USA. Mine says revision one, but I don't imagine that. What was that password again? They, they would have revised in pet glitch. And also, this, also this seven, version's seven, louder. Four. This version's louder. I gotta turn it down a little bit. It's lighter? Louder. One seven six four. Huh. Yep. One seven eight eight. Here, I'm trying the PAL version right now. Okay. One seven eight eight, and then what? Eight seven four eight. Holy shit! You can't do it on the PAL version. Well, I'll be. That's what it is. All right. Oh my god! It totally fixed. So yeah. that there. That's why. I, okay. Let's right. see. Ah, ha, 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 I did it. I fell back down. Did though. it? All right. Walk to the right without falling back down. Yeah, I fell back down. Okay. That's, that's well, the you problem. can get back up now. See how easy it is. Yeah. See, I was so bewildered by your performance. Yep. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry that I just yelled at you for. It's okay. It's like okay. Now you, it is. now you understand. Okay, so what's supposed to happen here? Keep walking right. Um. Okay. You'll, you'll see the sub tank soon. Yeah, I see the sub tank. Can I get past this, go Eddie? Go ahead and go ahead and. Um. Go ahead and collect the sub tank. Um. Collect the sub tank. Friends. Okay, I'm gonna collect the sub tank. I'm gonna collect this glitchy ass sub tank. I got it. Now what? Oh! Oh, okay! I died because it didn't load the bottom of the screen. <laughs> oh my god. This was worth it. You just totally destroyed this world. Can you actually, like. I don't remember. Can you no, actually you keep going? Can't play too far. But I think you can dash jump up to that. You might be able to dash jump to that wall over there. I'm not positive. Let's find Here, out. Let me Let's find out how far again. I can make it. Hi, Oliver. Bobby. Do you want attention? Shit, I fell to my death again. I made it to that platform. I did. Glitch World's incredible. This is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I told you. This is worth it. Europe was missing out. It's not all that much beyond the um. Did you think you cannot make it? Yeah, I didn't make the jump that time. That's okay. Alright, here. I'm making it's not spawning the tall guys now. now. All it's spawning is the robot man. Oh, but they gave me an extra life, so that's nice. 
Dog wants to stream too. This is some Axiom Verge shit right here. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Y'all think you can reach it? I, I can't. I can't make it. I can't make it back up then because I keep missing the jump part. I'm not getting. I wonder high if enough. I can. Um, you know, if you can't reach all the way far, maybe we can use some gay genie codes to give us like some super jump or something. Oh my god, nah. <laughs> That's a bit too much fucking around. Uh, I I think I got I got the gist of it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see if I can make the jump. I know I made it once, so I know I can make it again. Oh, I fell down. Make the jump to the platform. I fell down. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it from up here. This that way. Are you using I, a save state, maybe? Oh, that's a good idea. Let's do that too. I wonder. You know, usually there's something that some weird shit that shows up on where the capsule's supposed to be. I wonder what ca caused it to not show up. Maybe if you yeah, get yeah, back but um. Okay. Yeah, totally okay. Right. I'm up on the platform. Ah, All the enemies are invisible. The, the Oh my god. That's nuts! What is hitting me? Okay. <laughs> oh, I died. Let's let's reload that. Yeah. Let's make it I'm gonna make it all the way across the wall, like. Oh my god, I've never gone this far into glitch world before. This is great. Oh it goes back to normal. How far does it stay normal? I don't know. I'm gonna find out now in a second. I can't believe I've never gone this far into the level. Okay, we're back into normal land. Huh. Yeah, it seems pretty normal that's here. It's so weird that you can... You know, that seems like a good speedrun tactic. Kinda. Right? Yeah. That's an extremely good speedrun tactic. Does it crash the game or something? Why are people putting the head on the game's done quick runs? Yeah, I got to the boss and everything. Yep, that's... that's All right. That's, I guess it might be faster to just run through the level regularly than to try to set up this glitch. You think? Maybe? I don't it's, know. I don't think so. It's very easy to set up. I think that my way is even faster. I'm going to try the Buster Dual Flame Mammoth and then call it a stream, I think. U.S. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and find a game to go for to get back and jump into the things on the top room. Because if you get the super jump, you can jump um, above the above the um, hard take platform on Sting Chameleon level. Sting Chameleon's level. Oh like, no, God. no. If you have the super jump, then you can climb up to the entrance. Yeah, here is there is Mega Jump. I'm gonna go ahead and input that. Amazing. All right, enter code. B B A A one one B C Mega. All right. Browse. Wow, Flame Mammoth is really easy to bust a duel. Yeah. He really is. All right. Good stream, though, huh? Yeah, really good stream. I'd like to thank you for showing up for this, John. It was the You're best. You're very welcome. All right, and to all of you for showing up, thank you very much for watching me beat the Megman X's. And it was some fun stuff here on the Legal Games Hour. Right. So thank you all for coming, and I guess I'll see you. Wait, I, you wait, I don't know. wait for one second. What? What's this? I'm going to tell you if I can jump. If I, yeah, you can. You can totally jump if you use the Game Genie code. You can... Ah! Ah! It was even more fuckery. It fucks up even more. It's Wh great. Wait, where did you super jump exactly? I, I super jumped in the last platforming stage, in the last um, conveyor belt section before. Oh! Flame I was wondering about that. If you could get up there, but you can't with that super jump. Okay, so it fucks up even more. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. That, that's that's good shit. That's good incredible. Shit. Good shit right there. So yeah, thank y'all for coming out. Thank you, John, for being thank here. Thank y'all for coming. And I and I might I don't know if I'll do another Sunday streamy thing. I might I might not. I gotta actually like pick the games. The compulsion of Mega Man X came over me here. So this guy actually think of shit I would want to stream, which is the problem with these things. Because like, it's either sh it's either shit I've beaten like all sorts of times, like Mega Man X, 
Or then the problem comes with playing stuff I've never done before. But I'm also kind of a goddamn perfectionist who's like a hard game beater with sort of a reputation, so I don't like playing stuff blind and doing terrible at it. I do. I do. I do, I do. I don't. Just embrace it. Yeah. Anyway, all right. I'm going to shut this off. So uh, thank you, John. Thank you, kids. Have a good night. Talk See y'all later. later. Bye.